Hey guys, this is Chrono here with another episode of Salt Shakers. Um, tonight, yeah, it's just uh, going to be me and two others over here. They'll be joining us very, very shortly. Um, just also wanted to give props up to uh, Dave there for organizing uh, the Southern Cross Up. It was a really, really good day. It was a very long day as well. But let's all talk about that with uh, you know once we get our guests in. Hey, this is BG. This is Chogelo. Hey, this is Take This. Hey, what's up? This is Stevio. Yo, this is Dan Banter, and you're listening to. And you're listening to the. You're listening to the Salt Shaker podcast. And you're listening to the Salt Shaker podcast. Welcome to the Super Salt Shaker podcast. Chrome. Hi everyone, uh, yeah, just tuning into another episode of Salt Shakers there. Uh, tonight we have two special guests. Uh, we have Corn Willis, a prominent Yoshimitsu player in New oh. Zealand. And we also have his best mate, Aku, who's also in the house, uh, <laughs> aka Barnaby. Hey, welcome uh, to the show, guys. Thank you very much for thanks, having us. Thanks for having us. I think the, my favourite part is when you see it, I'm here with Corn Willis and his friends. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah. his friend, you know, our crew. <laughs> well, he's, uh, he's a good player. He's still, you know, just still plays, uh, what, Dragon Ball? Yeah, yeah, Dragon Ball. Yeah, yeah. Just, just, just running two all day. Yeah, just, yeah, totally. Just running two, running two. Oh, no, running you two. For fucking I, years. And down two. Don't forget down yeah, two. Yeah, at least two moves. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, yeah, so basically, how, what bring? Obviously, you know, you two are, you know, up for some cross up. It was a long yeah, day. Yeah, it was a super long day. Yeah. Super yeah, long yeah, day. How did you feel yesterday? Because uh, you just arrived and then you, they just put you into commentary. Yeah, I got I got to Auckland at about nine thirty and they just put me straight on commentary, so I didn't actually have much of a chance to play. So I only played my first games today, and yeah, I think it's been it's been heaps of fun. Um, I'm out now, obviously. I got in, like, just before top 12. So 13th place, I think. I got 12. Yeah, yeah, shut up. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's it's been it's been really cool. I think the matches that we've had so far have been pretty crazy, to be honest. Like, I, I felt like every single one of my matches that I played today was a bit of a struggle. They weren't, like, mm -hmm. even, it wasn't, like, an easy road. Even getting knocked out was still pretty tricky. So, yeah, I've been loving it so far. Yeah. That's good. What about yourself? Um, I flew, I I got up this morning at like five o'clock. Oh, is that why I didn't see you? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. so I only got in here into Auckland at like 7.30 and then had to take the bus in and then like had to like desperately get breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> like it was desperate. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then just start playing. So <laughs> like, I'm actually kind of surprised that I played pretty well because... Uh, like the I've only had like four hours sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's all you need. It's all yeah. you need, right? Yeah. You're fine. Yeah. yeah no, you, like, you're fine. Like I was dead today though. Yeah. <laughs> you... I didn't even see your matches actually. I feel like I I saw a bit of one of them yeah. on stream, but uh -huh. uh, yeah. How how are you feeling about it? Well, I'm already out. Yeah, well, we're all yeah, out. Everyone, we're all everyone out. here we're is just out. a little bit salty. We're all mm -hmm. out, you know. Yeah, yeah. But that's yeah. good. There's no one on a high horse in this room who's like, you know, smug being in top well. eight. None of those people. <laughs> I got, oh, I got a, a one place higher than This me. guy has been rubbing my face all night. He technically <laughs> got 12th place and I technically got tied 13th place. No, With wait. who? Well, I was, I was one off getting into top 12. Yes. So technically I was tied 13. He got into top 12 and then lost immediately to Kyo. Okay. Yeah. So he's technically one place higher than me. Yeah. Okay. okay. And we, we decided, we realized this the first time that's ever happened in tournament. That I've actually, place that I've actually I'm placed higher. And I'm going to lord it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to be strutting around for the next few years, I think. Just a little bit smug and a little bit full of himself. I'm, feeling, I'm actually feeling really happy about yeah, how yeah, I'm Yeah, I'm sure today. you are. Yeah. No, have, you, have you two had any money matches in the past? No. No. I feel like we've played for reasons before. I can't remember what it was. Like someone going to get food I can't remember yeah. what it was so I, f I feel so that's happened as well I think so but we've never done actual money I feel like that creates no. riff like you don't really do money matches with friends that much I yeah. feel like you do it with people that you know and you're sort of you know we're, 
you know. We've had a lot of um, <coughs> like first of fives that uh, we've had to take a, a break after. Yeah, 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 yeah. One of us got real pissed off. Everyone and, gets a little bit sensitive, and neither of us wanted to actually like admit that we're pissed off. <laughs> So like, so you sort of did a Rambo there. Oh, you took the oh, you took. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just an angry walk around. You know, go outside for a while. Do whatever you have to do. Everyone has to do a different thing. Yeah. Spark yeah. up a a diary or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Go for a walk. <laughs> go for a walk. <laughs> go for a jog. An angry walk. You know. <laughs> what you mean, like a power walk? Just yeah, just yeah stomping yeah, yeah. along. That, yeah, like that's actually that one of my like tournament strats is if i lose really badly i usually just go for a stroll yeah like, yeah. Or, like just around the building just like take, okay like take myself or go outside for like five minutes i think it's important to have your thing you know like in tournament you've got to have your thing yeah for me i've decided that um the last tournament i did actually okay and it's been like a like a dry run for me was at um crush county capital right okay and when i was there remember when like there was no food there was nothing anywhere so if you wanted to get food you had to go for like you know blocks away and i didn't have time so I went to the vending machine and got myself some um, of that uh, buja, and I've oh, decided yeah. I've decided that's now my thing. Every tournament I go, I'm going to find buja. I'm going to I'm going to bring it with me, and it's, I'm going to use it as my sustenance. So yeah. weird seeing like watching the stream, and just seeing you eat <laughs> like buja mix on stream while you're there's sitting there waiting it. for your I think there's match. something about it though, because it makes you feel very relaxed. It feels like you're at home just snacking on whatever you know. I, I personally wouldn't really like to munch on buja when I'm at home. Why not? Uh, no, I just prefer chips. Thing. Okay, well, well, yeah, well you know, well, that's, that's well, fine as well, but Buja well, gives you energy. You know, well, you got to have energy. Yeah, exactly. you got to have your thing. But I actually, like today, um, against my match with Blackout, I tried to, like, put, I think it was, like, Earth, Wind, and Fire, uh, like, just 70s funk on yeah. while I was playing. Yeah. We and were it, talking about that. And it didn't, yeah. it didn't help me. It was too distracting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like I was having too much fun listening to music and not actually like really really <laughs> yeah oh, man I love this song you know oh shit yeah I'm yeah like, like I, I, I tried to yeah. because I, th- I thought like it would relax me a little bit I thought mm. it might take off like the stress of being yeah. like on stream yeah but but then you start thinking about it you think like man this, this is supposed to be relaxing me why am I not relaxed you know yeah. it's better when it's just that's something that you always do I think yeah. you know because that would just sort mm. of get you into that kind of zone yeah I found that, I find that, um, and I know I've told you this, and I've done it at home as well, um, I find that if I listen to uh, just awful music that mm-hmm. is kind of hilarious, um, it, it's hard to take anything seriously. So, so but this morning, I made a giant playlist full of just the worst, like, 90s, early 2000s I think songs. Celine Dion was on there. Celine Dion's on there. And, okay, and, so... And I, and, I, and I thought that if I lost a match, that I would... Um, I put the put it on for the second game, and Dan Band will tell you that I, I did do that. I noticed that. I did do Dan that. Dan it took me ages. I had to get my headphones out and get them unplugged, and I just hit shuffle play on my playlist, and it was. Um, what was the first song that came up? Living La Vida Loca by Ricky Martin. Oh no! And you know, <laughs> the, Jesus, the second man. that came on, I was like, "Man, this is just the worst song, and it's so terrible." But it's so funny that it kind of just makes you laugh, and it just relaxes you. I mean, I still got bodied, but so, you know. but the, but you're not as salty. No, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Like, I'm not. I'm not that bad. You know. I'm okay. fine. I'm fine. I think. Um, I think Dan Banter's just. He's. You know. He's got my number, and so I need to work on that. But every other game was, you know, either really close. Even the game where I got knocked out, which was from. Um, Nemesis. Uh yeah, T Four Gen slash Nemesis, and that was like it was it was really close, and um, you know another Wellington player got the spot. So yeah, I don't care. You know, like it's it was fun. It's heaps of fun. That's good. That's yeah. good. I really enjoyed this. Uh, this tournament, eh? Yeah, I no, I think that all the big ones are always quite fun. Yeah. 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 And it's like there were enough good players that, you know, no one, well, except for like bar on like three people could have really said that they were definitely going to get top eight. It was a bit of a, it was a bit up in the air. Mm-hmm. You know, I think everyone knew that probably, you know, um, BG, Thomas, and maybe Jeff and Jamie were probably all going to get in top the, eight somewhere. The, the top eight is not surprising. No, 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 no not at all. I can't yeah. think of anyone there that I'm like, why the hell is that person mm-hmm. there? They must speaking have got a free of, run. Speaking of tournaments, though, um, let's talk about some other um, sort of upsets and everything that we had in the past. Yeah. So, LPL. You, yeah. You know, you were the first one, you are one of the first ones to go yeah. uh, in that top Literally 16. Literally the first one. <laughs> yeah. No, actually, no. I, oh, no, wait, Connor, Connor's Connor was yes, the first thank one. Thank you, Connor. I appreciate it. Yep. So, yeah, so what happened there? 
Um, was it tournament nerves or what I don't is know. it? I don't think the first the first game that I played was against Thomas, and I um I remember telling him at the start before we got in, I was like, you know what, this is this is all on you because it's his to lose. You know, everyone knows he's a better player than me, but if he loses to me, it's really embarrassing for him. But if I lose, it's kind of like, well, that's what we roughly expected to happen. Mm-hmm. So um, the game was pretty close, I think. I think both Thomas and I, didn't. neither of us played very well. Yeah. But it was really close. And he ended up, he took me out with Kazumi, I think, after, mm-hmm. I, after I made a switch from Dragonoff. Yeah. And then after that, it was a really weird experience because I was playing Kevin or Kevlar X290, whatever his name is. Yeah. Um, and I've played him a lot. And we normally, I, I'd gotten a bit of an edge over him at the time. So I was feeling pretty confident. Um, what happened there? I don't actually know. <laughs> I, I've made a lot of input errors, and mm-hmm. I lost really badly. And afterwards, um, if you talk to him about it, we were both really upset, because he wanted me to go through, because he thought I would hopefully do better than he would, but he mm-hmm. actually ended up doing really well. And I was obviously pissed, because I'd just been knocked out, and now I didn't get to take part in the tournament anymore. But yeah, I don't, I don't actually know. He he came off his game, and he was really fired up, because... Um, I don't know if you... I don't know if I think you talked about this previously. There were some issues with the monitors on that mm-hmm. first day. And um, I think he was having some problems with his pad as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he came, when he came to play me, he was steaming. He was so angry. Not at the person that he'd, that he'd lost to, but just at the way he had lost, because he felt like something hadn't been working properly. That's mm-hmm. the worst way I lose. Yeah, That's yeah. The worst way but I apparently lose. it put the fire in him, and he just beat the crap out of me, and I lost. So, you know. You, can't, you don't always have to come up with a reason or an excuse why you lost. Sometimes you just get outplayed. Yeah, just, just shit happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or good players beat happens. you. You know, <laughs> you know that happens. It happens to everyone. So, yeah, no, that, I think LPL was a good experience, but I, you know, obviously wish I'd done better. But yeah, what are you gonna do? Yeah, what are you gonna do? Mm, true that. The um that one I, I went to last time I was up hanging out here. What was that? Oh, that, that was the uh, LPL opening. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I felt as though I did really badly in that tournament. Like, <laughs> yeah, he was really... He was so pissed. I was so pissed. He out. was so pissed. That <laughs> was really funny. And, like, but, but, but you were mad, but you were mad at yourself, you know? So. I, like, the... And that was the time I was really pissed off with you. With me? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's I right. was really salty with you. <laughs> salty man. run back. Yeah, yeah. Salty you wanted your go, salty run back. Salty run back did not go well either, from what I remember. Oh, like, I was... Oh, that was pretty funny. Like, <laughs> I, I, pretty I, funny. I, I think I was egging him on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, yeah. So, so, oh, Barnaby. Hey, Barnaby, yeah. do you want to... <laughs> you've, you've got three lifelines left. What do you want to do? You want to you wanna ask the crowd? You want to you wanna phone a friend? The crowd is not yeah. going to yeah. 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 But, um... But for that tournament, I think I played really badly because I like I was in one of the later pools, mm. and it was set up so like they just you know you walked into that room and you played your game in that room and then you walked out and you stood in the lobby, and I yeah. I felt as though I played really badly because like I just sat in that lobby for like a couple of hours just thinking about my next match, so I just sat there and like over analyzed like. Yeah everything so you're in a dark place yeah, yeah. yeah. so like but what else do you do in that situation yeah like, you think like, about oh, I'm playing this character I wonder what this character can do and then yeah. you think about every move every they've got move, and then once yeah. you actually get into the actual game you've overanalyzed to the point where you don't actually play yeah. like you're just like you just sit there and like think about what you want to do next like yeah, you're not yeah. actually playing your game yeah. true yeah. Um, which I actually found like for the tournament today it was like the complete opposite because it's just a room full of people that you just yeah. talk to Tekken Tekken nerds Tekken everywhere. nerds They're everywhere and you play a couple of casuals yeah. and you have a good time I think it was just the casuals that made, that made it better and like yeah, that, it, that, it, it, obviously yeah. it would be yeah. Yeah. That, that, that whole you can't play casuals in LPL they will no. let you they'll kick you out of the room it's so yeah. it's so weird like yeah. that whole system I think like it makes it really intense. I think that they just sort of don't understand like the fighting game community and because we are different yeah. To um, to let's say League of Legends or COD, yeah, or, yeah, or yeah, COD. Yeah. yeah, I remember actually talking to Sheep about that, and he said when we first when we first turned up, I was talking to him, and he said that um, he was like, "Man, it's so weird. I'm so used to dealing with with the COD people, who are apparently all just really sort of antisocial, don't really talk, and then they they saw the Tekken community together, and everyone just sort of laughing and taking the piss and that kind of thing, and I think." It's a different kind of community because... Different vibe. Yeah, yeah. because the Tekken community isn't an online community. No. If you've got an online community of COD players all raging at each other and sending them hate mail and stuff like that, it kind of it's, creates it's, this horrible... It's so much easier to be angry at people when they're faceless yeah. and like you just send them hate mail online. Like, yeah. 
Yeah, well, yeah. that that's basically a lot of people, um, you know, on, on Tekken online these days. Yeah. Yeah, you know, once yeah. it actually turn uh, online. But basically, yeah, let, let's talk about other things here yeah, besides, you know, tournaments and mm-hmm. things like that. Because, yeah, I mean, we just came from a tournament. The last thing I want to talk about <laughs> is more <laughs> tournaments yeah, yeah. coming up. So let's get right on to it. So what do you guys think of the pictures? They're pretty cool. I, I actually love the pictures. I think um, everyone's looking at the fact that we look pretty much exactly, exactly the same. Exactly the same. Which is not that far from reality. No, I remember you, you... I think I have seen people that have said, I don't know which ones are and which ones are more. Because we were, and, we're just both just white guys with beards. Yeah, but like... <laughs> We don't like that's about it, you know. The the difference is sort of start and end there. Well, come on, like you know, you get like you guys are best friends. I mean, look at me. I, I have to like you know, I'm called Jambo all yeah, the time. Yeah, but you but you are Jambo. I'm know? not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the conspiracy. Yeah, yeah. No. Okay. Okay. We're the same person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So every time when like Jambo's on stream, like you know, I'm never there. Yeah. So. Uh, you guys have never played each other in tournament. I'm no. sure. A hundred percent sure of that. <laughs> but yeah, no. I think I, I, I like him. I think they're good. I feel like it's. Um, because I've known pretty much all of the people um, that I've seen on the podcast so far, and I've seen them before, mm-hmm. but I don't think I had, I'd never seen, or I haven't put my name to, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, the guy was on with Milky. What's his name? Virtual Bacon. Virtual Bacon, The guy yeah. that draws all of these. Yeah. But yeah. I, the thing is, when I saw him on there, then I recognized him in person immediately, based, <laughs> based on the picture. So that's a testament to the fact that they're actually pretty good. So he mm-hmm. draws himself well. Apparently, yeah, I think that, I think um, he drew you pretty well. Yeah, yeah. I I'm the one thing I am disappointed about, and it's totally my fault, is that I used to have like recently had a big beard, yeah. and I just shaved it off, and then had that picture taken. Yeah. So that picture could have been me with a big beard, and there could have been a little bit of could a have difference. Been epic. Yeah. Would have been yeah, yeah, yeah. Would have been in, in be between epic. us, then, yeah. like rather than just. Like, because we do have the same beard length right now, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and pretty much the yeah, same. But this here. is what I stay at. You're just like you're catching up, and you're yeah, like, yeah. just surpass me and go back into hobo territory. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I really like it. <laughs> so, with the whole Tekken scene and things like that, I understand that both of you play Tekken for a very long time, yeah. um, and that's basically just playing each other uh, and playing online. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, so, tell us about that. Well, I. So, um, Barnaby and I, uh, we've known each other for 23 years, coming on 24 years, I suppose. Yeah. Um, uh, primary school. Yeah, probably first day of primary school, and we've been friends since then. Um, primary? Yeah. Primary school, oh, like wow. first day of school type thing. We yeah. were in the same class then, we were pretty much in the same same high school, university at the same time, and then and we lived we, together as well. For like five years. Yeah. So, it's kind <laughs> of so you guys are like best friends. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. But so I, think, I would say that if one of yous are getting married, then the other's definitely going to be the best man. Yeah, yeah. Well, sure. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I don't think either of us are going to ever get married, just because. I don't. I don't. I just don't think we will. But um, I don't we can marry that, each other. Yeah, can, yeah I, I think that's more likely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we um. So in terms of Tekken, so we played games together a lot, like when we first moved in together. Well, um. How, uh, how did how did you guys pick up Tekken? Well, our flatmate had um, a PlayStation 2, two yeah. and Tekken 5, yeah. and so we found that, and then just set it up, and then just started playing Tekken, because we were like, <laughs> oh, do, do, do you remember, like, and we were like, oh, look, I remember playing Tekken 3 when I was, like, really young, yeah. let's hook this up yeah. and like start playing Tekken 5 mm-hmm. and then it just it kept going <laughs> yeah. and kept got going got to embarrassingly at the time to yeah. the point where we were like just waiting for Tekken 6 to come yeah, out yeah yeah and like bought a playstation <clears throat> like pretty much so you guys and, didn't like, know too much about the arcade scene no no, no, no. well we were in Dunedin we were living in Dunedin at the time which had no arcade there was no arcade well there was that one I think on Great King Street but it was um yeah, I don't think there's much of a Dunedin Tekken scene. I feel like there's a few people kicking off now, but back then I don't think there were. Well, so you boys are uh, originally from Dunedin? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. born and bred in Dunedin. So we um, started playing Tekken together back in 2000 and... Ooh, 
believe it. Uh, so when was when was Tekken? It would have been the start of Tekken Six, the end of Tekken Five DR. So I suppose. that would have been about two thousand eight, two thousand nine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, no, it wasn't then. Oh, I think no. we I think we started at the end of DR or the end of. Or the yeah, start of six. I think so. Either way, I think we so only was had this five point oh or was this? Uh, oh, it was five point oh. Well, only because we sorry, didn't so know was there was a six point oh. Sorry, six point oh. Uh, I. I don't. I, see, I can't remember. The thing right. is that we um we only had a PlayStation Two at the time, so we just had the game that we had, which was Tekken Five, and I actually don't know where the series was up to at the time. No, but that's all we had. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think you. I don't know if you got you had the same experience, but when you when you first start, you um you can get away with things, obviously that for some for to the other person look like they're unbeatable and there's nothing they can do. Yeah. Um, and so like I remember learning all of King's chain throws, I learned all the ten combos for all the characters, and we just thought. That, you was, know, that was the best. Yeah, exactly. We thought, you we know? thought that was that nobody was, yeah. can touch you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, snake edging. Well, there's no way you can block snake edge on reaction. You know, like you just have to take it. You know, that's just the way it works. And no idea what a, what frame data was. Because, what anything because was. like both of us started as, like with zero knowledge. Yeah. So our knowledge was built solely by fighting each other. So how did you guys come about? Where did you guys started getting more competitive and learning about frames and things like oh, that? Oh, well, Fergus came home one day after probably a very boring day at uni <laughs> yeah. um, with, like, I think sheets of paper. Yeah, yeah. Um, with tech and, like, frame data. Yeah, actual and paper. Literally, and literally actual I printed paper. it off it while I was at uni. Yeah. Oh, okay, so it was actually, like, a print, like, it was printed content yep. from a site. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so we studied that I remember saying started. we need to learn this and I feel, feel like I can remember the look on your face I'm when just you were like, like oh, oh my god, god what the hell is going so on it, was, it just seemed rather draining <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah 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 and okay. it is draining though that's, the, is whole, draining. that's, that's like, the whole thing um, so we basically just like and then I think we tested each other for ages being yeah. like okay this move what's the frames on it yeah, yeah, like, yeah. so we, it was like, pretty much like two Two little primary school kids just throwing out <laughs> we were, like, we were, times yeah. tables, yeah, 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 yeah. equations exactly, to each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, but I was hey, still... Barnaby, what's five times five? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jump back three. <laughs> Jump back three. So I remember, um, I, I one of the times I remember realizing, like, there was that you know that moment of realization you have that you when realize, you're really shit. yeah, you realize that you're garbage. I think everyone has it, and I think everyone in New Zealand would have it now if they played the right people. You mm-hmm. know. You play someone and you realize that they're so much better than you and they, they understand so much more about the game mm-hmm. than you that it makes you realize that you're just trash. And I still remember that happened to us. I think it was the first online game. So was that played. your first reality check? That yeah, was the first yeah. reality check because we'd only ever played each other and then our friends who would okay. come around and we'd and just you'd just body, you just yeah, body yeah, yeah. And you'd be like, man, yeah. I don't think there's anyone that could actually yeah, beat yeah. me. So and we, I remember it, was, that, it was Tekken 6. It was right? Tekken 6, yeah. yeah. And I remember the first person we played, I'm not sure if you played that much in the lines, you don't know, you might not know who it is, but... He was called Job two thousand and eight or something like that, mm-hmm. and he was a he was a beer player. He played beers. Yeah, he kicked our ass for ages. And but <laughs> but like he destroyed us when yep. like he first started playing, and then I think he left for a little while, and we kept playing, mm. and then we just like found him again online, and we bodied him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. like, I think, like, after that first realisation of how shit we were, yeah. I think we were like, okay, we actually do need to, like, yeah. so figure out how to play you the guys game. pretty much just self-taught each other. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah essentially. So we didn't, because we didn't have a community or anything like that. We were, we were in a bunch of us that were all learning from each other. It was more us both figuring okay. things out and then telling each other about it and okay. then going online and losing them, those kind of right. things. Right, okay. Yeah. But uh, it was, um, yeah, I, I think... It was that desire to get better for both of us, which kind of helped. So, um, you know, if, if, if you feel like I want to, um, you know, this person's doing this cool thing, I'd like to learn how to do that. And that might be something as basic as, like, sidestepping or something like that. Okay. Or I, really I, good whiff punishment. I think, you know? I think the drive was to actually beat each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, so you get just keep each one-upping each other. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I, I on, on Tekken 6 specifically, I think... Um, I think this is, that was one of the things that held us back is that because there was no community, we were forced to play online. Mm. And I don't know if you know what Tekken Six online was like, but it, it was so bad. Like blocking a snake edge on reaction was really hard because the net code was so slow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what that teaches you to do is to block everything on prediction. So when you think a snake edge is coming, you don't see the snake edge, recognize that it's a snake edge, yeah. and block it. You think I bet he's gonna snake edge. I bet a duck because it's probably gonna Which come. Which also forced us to. Um attack a lot yeah um which i think is a bad habit that took us a long time to like 
we now. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I think I think it's something that that a lot of the offline, you know, the people that played back in the arcade days. You were one of those people, and you know, all the other people from Auckland as well. They've got that advantage of they they never had to deal with trying to learn in an environment where reaction time was um, shit was shit. You know, there was there, it wasn't actually useful. It wasn't a useful skill to have, and I think a lot of players now they see sort of they go, oh he plays like an online player he plays like this he plays like this but actually that's kind of just what you're forced into when your reaction time doesn't affect how well you play yeah so um I think that was sort of a hurdle we had to overcome for a while and um and it was a hurdle for tag as well actually yeah yeah but I still think that you know it was you did actually um <laughs> there was one tournament where you came up for Auck- like we came up to Auckland yeah and that was the first time we met you yeah uh, yeah. Do you remember that at all? Was which, that um, was which which one are you talking about? Are you talking about the one in the arcade, or are you talking about the, the one in the arcade? Up? Yeah, so that was because um, I came out for the second one. No, I wasn't there for that one. I don't think. I think that was the that must have been the world tournament. Was that the world tournament? You know where they played I the world don't tournament. Remember. I think I think that's what it was. So I um, that was probably that must have been the first couple of years of tag two. I'm pretty sure. And I went down... Uh, I think it was six. I remembered it was six. Was it six? I'm not too... Yeah. I'm, yeah. I, I, I wouldn't ta- know. I don't think it would have been tag. It would have been tag. Because when when uh, it was tag, you were already quite good at it. Mm. And you were bodying everyone. Mm. Like, you know, with... I think it was, what, Wang and, and Yoshimitsu? Yeah. 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 Back in the glory days, Wang. Oh, man. I was so disappointed when he didn't get it. Anyway... But I, so I remember, uh, I do remember that tournament. I, I think it was, I'm, I'm thinking it was actually, it was the Worlds for Tag 2. You didn't have a beard back then. No, I didn't. Uh, so most people don't recognize me then from back then because apparently I look like a completely different person. But, um, I've, so in that World Tournament actually, I think it, it was, it was the Chicken Tug to World Tournament. I think it was one of the first times I met you at least. Mm-hmm. Um, all the tournaments were in arcades. So, um, Wellington didn't actually get a tournament. Like, like, so there was, so there was a qualifying tournament that if you qualified and you could play, you got flown to Auckland yeah. and you played there. Yeah. Right. Right. And so I flew down to Christchurch for that. Um, and that was the first time I'd traveled for a tournament, you know, that I thought would actually be worth traveling for. Mm-hmm. And I, I had a really awful experience. <laughs> the Christchurch guys, like okay. a lot of them were really nice, really cool. Yeah. Um, but at the time, I didn't play on stick, so when I played on stick, I felt like a real scrub. You know, like it's like it'll be like you trying to play on hitbox. It just really makes you just feel really uncomfortable, and like you can't play your game. And um, quite a few of the Christchurch players were really upset that I'd come down because they thought I was here to steal their spot, um, which is understandable. But when your city doesn't have a spot, you have to go somewhere, or you just don't play, right? Mm-hmm. And so I remember after that. Um, just feeling like, oh man, that was kind of shit. Like, it wasn't even that enjoyable. So, how, what kind of vibes were you getting from them? Um, what did, so, they, did they actually say that? Uh, yeah, they did. Yeah, well, one of them did, yeah. Um, uh, Jordice, I think, was the guy that was a little bit angry. He was a little bit upset that I'd gone down there, and um, it just kind of put a damper on the things. But, but, you know, everyone else was really cool. So, yeah, um, and that almost, that was almost enough to make me feel like, eh, maybe offline tournaments aren't all that. Um, because it just felt like everyone was just kind of in it for themselves and they weren't mm-hmm. really sort of about community. Yeah, okay. But um, but I remember the um, the big thing that changed was when we went to Southern Cross Up 2000 and... Was it 14? Was it 13? Was that the one... Was that my first one? I think so, yeah. I think it was my first one too. Um, yeah. So we, we came which, up... Which was just in that like that kind of small room that like absolutely packed with people. I don't know if you were there. I... Don't remember you. Don't remember you being there. I feel like I, rem- I feel like I remember when, getting bodied by when you. When was you. this? So that would have been in two. That would have been in South Cross either two thousand thirteen or two thousand fourteen. Something like that. And eh? there weren't like it was take two days. Uh, and where was this? Well, it was in Auckland. I can't remember which. which uh, how it was in. But um. I can't remember either. But like, uh, like I think the turnout for Taken was pretty small. It was always bad in Tag Two. I mean, we can all agree it was, it was kind of a garbage game, you know. <laughs> Oh, it really is something else. That's <laughs> yeah, all I yeah. could say. It really yeah, yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And I felt like um, so that, but I remember being there, and I remember just I met a lot of people there. I think it's the first time I met Connor, mm-hmm. um, and a, and the first time I met like that guy and all the all the other Auckland players that were actually all really cool, you know. And I felt like that was enough to make me feel like oh, you know, well maybe there are some cool people around who you know aren't dicks, and will um. <laughs> well, actually, you know, when when I lived in Auckland, I pretty much like stayed at the arcade so often just because of those guys yeah like I yeah. hung out in the arcade just because I was like 
I'll go hang out with the Tekken guys. Mm. I think and, it, and it's one of those things, you know, like when I came up for this weekend, I felt like um, I partly was here for the tournament, but I'd have been knocked out already. But if I, but I'm just here, here to hang out with everyone, really, mm-hmm. and have a good time. Like, and that makes it so much so different. If I just come up here for the tournament, when I get knocked out, it's like devastating, you know. You don't even get to take part in the second day, and you're going home. Mm. But now it's like I'm looking forward to the salty sweet, you know. Like it's it's I think it's the offline community that just makes it worth worth. Yeah, around. absolutely. Yeah, and plus, you know, you gotta sort of. You kind of sort of have to, um, you know, realize that it's a different game. Yeah. You yeah. know, online and offline. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. if you're basically going to be playing, I mean, for me, I hate online. Yeah. I yeah. absolutely hate it. It's, I, I lose so much, and I, <laughs> and then that's basically me just sort of losing my cool. Yeah. Probably chucking my stick. You were like, my, so you were, you were talking at a tournament. The, at the tournament today, you were saying, ah, oh, so-and-so dropped me down a rank. And I'm like, why are you talking about ranked when we're at like a tournament, you know? Clearly it's getting to you, Stephen. It's getting to well, you. Well, like, don't let but, it get to but, you. But think about this one. No, that, you serve out to, to, to oh, Vanguard. Yeah. <laughs> and that was, come on, man, that's four ranks. Is it? I don't even know. I don't <laughs> know what the ranks are. But like, like, when we started, that's all we had. Yeah. yeah. Like, all we had was online. Like, yeah. we didn't have any like any kind of like community to go hang out with we didn't yeah. have any like like we couldn't make friends with this kind of stuff we just had all like the assholes yeah. online to deal with yeah and that was it so i'm actually kind of surprised that we even stuck with it i know i know i think it's because it was it was just because we had nothing else then i would you know i would have totally preferred to play with offline people but it's just the way it is yeah and that's why i don't like Sometimes you get people around here that get a little bit upset about, oh, an online player coming to play everyone, they get a bit upset about it. But, you know, for a lot of people, that's all they've got. Mm. And, and you know, if you want to play Tekken, if you're passionate about Tekken, you don't have a choice. So, yeah, no, I think I think, I think think the transition's been fun. Yeah, it's, it's been rough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Again, it was, another, it was another dawning realization. Like, when we came up here, we realized mm. actually... Actually, we are human garbage when it comes to Tekken. You know, you learn that, you get past it, you get better, and then you just sort of carry on. Yeah. Yeah. But you, you, you take your losses. You take your losses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you go for a little walk, and then you come back and lose it. Just like what you say, you, you just <laughs> go for a walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you remember them, though. Like, those losses, they stick with you. I think, you know, some of the biggest losses that I've had in tournament, I... I can remember the situation that led to me losing. I can remember the drop combo, you know. I can yeah. remember the whiffs the punish that I missed actually you know, quite, that quite often if I lose really badly I'll go home and like load up Tekken load up the character that I lost to <laughs> and then just go through the move yeah, list yeah. and be like what did I lose to yeah and then and then be like oh like if I just ducked there I would have won the game yep <laughs> like yep but you didn't I don't know that's the thing you know yeah. you didn't do it yeah well, that, okay. that's always the case of any fighting game really yeah like uh, in Tekken 6 uh, if for an example I picked up Lars because I always got bodied by Lars yeah yeah because yeah. he was cheap. Yeah. He, yeah so I, I picked him up yeah yeah yeah, yeah. like for, did you play him what yeah well I that just means that's, <laughs> that's not picking him up so you live that's just picking him up because he's a good character no I also picked him up because um, I was just like okay well what am I losing to so mm. uh, you know I first sort of picked him up just to sort of go through the move list, and then you got, and hooks. then you're like, you're like, oh wow, yeah, he's he actually got, he an got amazing character. Yeah. 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 This is why I'm losing to him because he's yeah. really good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. No, I think um, that's one of the things that I've always struggled with um, is changing characters, mm-hmm. and um, everyone talks about me as being a character loyalist, mm-hmm. and they're saying, oh, you know, he's so dedicated to to Yoshi or, or his Wang back in Tekken. His Wang. Yeah, he's always dedicated to his Wang. Um, but I think any. I think every man should be dedicated to their wang. The, I think they should. The, yeah. The, the amount of wang jokes that have gone on. I know. At, it's been like, happening at our for flat. years. Like it was the entire for years. time we've been playing Tekken, I've just been cracking <laughs> like dick jokes. <laughs> <for years. laughs> just Const- Johnson jokes. Yeah. 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 Constantly. I think and, the best thing about it is that when you when you play with people you haven't played before, they always tell you those jokes like they imagine you've you've never heard yeah, it before. I've like seen, I'm pretty sure I've said all of them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've covered. Those. I've got one for you. You would never have heard this one you've got to get your wing deeper in that combo you know like those kinds of things you're like okay i've heard it all um actually like i've been playing dragon off since tekken 6 Mm. like i picked up dragon off like first day of tekken 6 you know what do you remember that um 
I think we looked at him as a character before we had the game. Yeah, even and, before we had the and, game, and, I was but, picking but up Tekken. We basically, when we played, we would play one character each. Like, we'd play characters each. We wouldn't overlap our characters. So he got Dragon Up. I can't remember. I think we flipped a coin for it or something like that. No, I just... I oh, just you, well, you said you wanted him uh, and you begged him or something. And yeah, I gave what, him to what you. Was, um, so, what, which one was this? Five? This would have been six. So, six. Would have been six. Because yeah. this was when we were first playing online. Yeah. And we didn't want to have... We wanted to have, like... Uh, win separate okay yeah, so, yeah yeah that's right so like forgot if, about caring so, about that stuff so like if if you had be, if Fergus had been playing Dragon Off then I wouldn't have my win ratio <laughs> it's such a petty thing what a it's so stupid petty. reason but like it. but like it, it made sense because then we could see like who had the higher yeah, 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 he was doing yeah. better, yeah. Because I, I think, like, the whole time we've been playing Tekken, it's been nothing but competition in between us. Yeah. Of just, like, yep. who can up the other person. So, yeah. w- with this whole thing, why Tekken? Why not other games? Like, what was the reason why it, it was Tekken that you chose? I reckon it was, first it was circumstance, because we just happened to have the yeah, game. Man. If we're being honest, that's probably what that's it was. What but it was. Um, So it's all fate. <laughs> yeah well yeah yeah it was it was kind but, of but I also like I played Tekken 3 yeah I played two. Oh, who has it yeah when, when I was younger and like I just had such fond memories of playing Tekken yeah. 3 that like it was a no brainer to pick up I think the Tekken difference again. the differences with Tekken is that you can start it off from that kind of really basic I'm you know I'm playing Ogre and I'm you know shooting fire at people and that's cool like everyone did that as a kid and they mm. button mashed but especially with Eddie yeah, 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 exactly, yeah, totally. right, exactly. Totally. But the thing is that you, right. um, you, you can find more, much more depth than Tekken. You know, obviously, when you can find, you can. The first thing would be you know figuring out how to um how to do combos, and then you figure out how to duck stuff, and then you figure out what side stepping is, and then you figure out what block punishing is, and whip punishing is, and all those kind of things. And you know, like the rules always like a stepping stone to get to. And yeah. I felt like, for me, um, that's what it was, is that actually I didn't feel like I could stop because I didn't know how to do this yet. And then I couldn't stop because I didn't know how to do this yet. Mm-hmm. And then, and I'm still going, you know? It's been <coughs> six years or whatever it's been, however yeah. long we've been playing for. And, and I, th- this shit I, just like, don't know. I think you've always, like, you have always been the instigator of, um, of like, as you bring in the information. Mm-hmm. Like, you always brought the information to me and then I'll, yeah. Like, Learn it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I always did Barnaby's homework for him. Yeah. So yeah. everything Barnaby knows about this game, I taught him. Yeah, sure. And I, yeah, so, you know, I'd have to show it to you. You don't even go in practice mode. I have to force I you into practice. practice mode. Yeah, but only because I... your internet sucks. You didn't used to. Yeah, yeah. And I had to force you in there. And you know, like, and and I've literally been like, no, this is how this works. This is how this uh, works. Twelve, thirteen. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, guys, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go on a short break there. Um, I know that Southern Cross Up is actually happening at the moment, but I thought that this is going to be a good opportunity to sort of wave our goodbyes to this uh, advert. I know that everyone's heard it a million times, but hey, you know, it's it's the end of the line there, and let's just sort of advertise it one more time. Hey, it's another day tomorrow, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, totally. yeah, no, so don't be... Uh, yeah, don't, don't go away, guys. We'll be right back. Hey there. Kia ora. Ni hao ma. Kanichiwa and annyang haseyo. We would like to formally invite... You're taking too long. Come to Southern Cross Up! Woo! Head on down to Southern Cross Up happening at the Crown Plaza from the 6th to the 8th of October. Meet the entire fighting game community. Meet our very own E-Black Cornova. Killer boys with some killer games. If you like fighting games, bring your mates. Everyone's invited. Hey man, you guys shut up. I'm trying to play. Yeah, just don't be that guy. Get ready for such titles as Street Fighter V, Super Smash Bros, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, and last but not least, our Second very seven! crazy girl. Kids, please ask your parents before attending. No taking players were harmed during the making of this production. No taking players' feelings were harmed during the making of this production. If you're ever inclined to do so. What's up? This is Mia. Yo, this is Tinkos. This is Drax. Hi, this is Milky. Kia ora, this is Corn Willis, and you're listening to... And you're listening... And you're listening to the Salt Shaker Podcast. And you're listening to Chrono on the Salt Shaker Podcast. 
And we are back, guys. Uh, for those that just tuned in, I've got our crew and uh, Corn Willis with me. So, um, back to the questions, guys. So, Corn Willis yeah. itself. Yeah. Or Corn Wallace, whatever you guys want to call uh-huh. it. How did that all come about? <laughs> okay. All right. So, the original Cornwallis, um, is what I was first known as, was based on a... Um, it's a name that they use a lot in South Park for a lot of side characters that they want to sound really stupid. It's sort of... It's in, it turns up in a bunch of episodes. And I just Cornwallis. Thought it was Cornwallis, yeah. Oh, okay. So Cornwallis, I think, might have been the um, son of um, Mr. Hankey. And I think it was also... Um, he was the goat in Peter that was like the guru goat. Either way, it's just the name they want to use when they have a really stupid character. Cornwallis. And I always thought it was funny, so I just decided to use it. Um, and the reason... Uh, so what happened was, when I was playing um, sort of early strategy games, um, we'd sometimes use Ventrilo, which is like a um, uh, VOIP type service, so you can chat to people over the internet or whatever. Um, and Ventrilo, whenever you join a channel in there, Microsoft Sam tries to pronounce whatever your name is. And for some reason, he could not get my name right, and he used to just call me Corn Willis. How? It's, it's, what is it? W-A-L-L-A-C-E. Yeah, yeah. If, if you put that into Microsoft Sam, it comes out as Corn Willis. And then, what happens if you actually just put Wallace? Well, like W, just, uh, I'm not sure actually. And the thing is, Microsoft Sam does the weirdest things, you know, and it was heaps of fun. And so everyone just started calling me that. Um, and so I just decided to start And what game it. was this that you were playing? This was in, this was in Shadowbane, like a bunch of years ago. And then I did it in League of Legends a bit as well. The team that I played So Corn there. Willis. Corn Willis was the entire, was the entire time what I was known as. But all of the people that I ever used to play games with back then, I don't play with any of them anymore. So I just kept this really stupid name, which is an in-joke to about... You know, ten yo, people. Yo. Yeah, and but now just me, so no one else finds it funny. So it's just Corn Willis. It's Corn Willis, but now it's going back to Corn Willis. I think I'm thinking I'm just going to get rid of it because you know no one's going to understand why it's it's you know funny. <laughs> <laughs> but the other the other reason I chose it is because I we when we were playing online a lot. I really wanted the person whoever if I beat someone and they see how stupid my name is. It's I gonna don't make think them it's mad. stupid. I though. think it's really stupid. I think it's a dumb yeah. name. You know, okay. I think it makes me sound kind of pathetic. And I like the idea of, of my opponent getting tilted just by my handle, you know? That's a good way to start, Corn I think. It's a really lame Corn. story. Yeah. It's <laughs> really, really lame you wanted story. the truth, okay? I gave you the truth. It, 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 needs, a, it needs a little bit more dragons, though. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you knew the answer. What? So, anyway, uh, anyway what, let's about, what about... Let, let's, get to, let, let's get to you, Barnaby. Our uh, crew. Okay. Our crew. Okay. Our crew. What... Well, R underscore crew. Yeah, with yeah. A, with a three. With a three. An e. So, um, actually, going back to when me and Furious first started playing Tekken mm-hmm. Five. Yep. Um, I'm gonna tell you if you get the story wrong, by the way. So you're gonna call him out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh wait, wait. It was when we first playing Te- Tekken Six. No, no, it's okay. Carry on. Uh, I'm just, I'm just letting you know. <laughs> I'm really um, waiting. Okay, so we were like trying to th- because we had a shared account yeah um you guys share everything <laughs> we really do it's weird um i'm quite surprised that you're not sharing your girlfriend with him what? <laughs> <laughs> that was the wrong response I <laughs> well yeah, no, that's, that's, hey yeah. i met josie before you yeah that's true you actually introduced me to my girlfriend yeah um anyway sorry that's a different story so we were living on a street called royston street yep and there were three of us in the crew at the time. I think the other guy, the other guy dropped out pretty Let's quick. just keep... When we say the crew, we were the whitest nerds you can think of. You know, these are three Well, you guys like dressed boys. up and like, you know, sort of gangster <laughs> no, well, singlets and... That was, the, that was the vibe we were going for, also, yeah. Like the other so vanilla that, ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. No. Time, times three. <laughs> we, were, we were also trying to spell crew in the stupidest way possible. And like the dumbest way the most like embarrassing so why did you co- why did why did you keep because it? I I, no, love, no. I I just love Fergus so much no he couldn't be bothered <laughs> I, this is why yeah, he, <laughs> no, he wouldn't say this is why but this is probably why he couldn't be bothered coming up with his own name <laughs> When he plays other games, he just uses his real name, Barnaby, because he can't be bothered coming up with anything. And because no one believed Barnaby is my real name. Yeah, that's anyway, true. It doesn't so sound real, like... does it? It does, <laughs> it does sound like a made-up name. Yeah, it does. 
I do remember we would. Uh, there's been a few times because we used to go out drinking and stuff together. Yeah. And if we went, if we went and talked to people, like talked to some girls at a bar or something, like, hey, I'm I'm Ferguson. This is Barnaby. <laughs> I remember we literally got the response for uh, are those your real names? Like are those names you've, you've just made up. Fergus. You know? Nah, Fergus is believable. Yeah, Barnaby. 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 That's just embarrassing <laughs> to be honest. You should be ashamed um, of yourself. And, and like okay, I'll admit it. I couldn't be bothered speaking of a name. So yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is why. But but it's it's an honour of us. So who's no. who's the third crew member? Uh, it was Ryan. He played for maybe half a year and then gave up. Yeah, he was. So we were always using a shared account. One of the things that people didn't realise is that there was varying skill levels between yeah. the people that would use the account. <laughs> and so you know, me and Barney, but we were okay. We could do combos and stuff. But then yeah. our garbage flatmate would come on and just <laughs> just be awful. <laughs> And I think people got the wrong idea. I thought that we were just the most inconsistent players in the world. <laughs> we just like we'd turn on the PC, PC uh, the PS4 one day, we'd be fine, and then the next day we'd just be absolute yeah, trash. trash you know? yeah. So it was it was um, pretty funny. So I I've, I've just kept the same handle from yeah forever. Well, you did keep the same handle, but you spelt it wrong <laughs> on PS4. You have four letters. You have to do R then. <laughs> K and then you have to get R and then the W and then there's a three in there as well. So what was it? What he got it... R Q. Oh he missed out the R. He <laughs> just had a second R. So, R Q. So it doesn't make any sense. I spell it right in tournaments. No. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is that now it just doesn't make any sense. No, it makes like it didn't make much sense in the beginning, but now it makes but, even but now less. It makes less sense. And people like constantly ask me. It's like, I how do you how do you pronounce that? I'm like, oh, it's crude. Yeah. I've yeah. <laughs> just spelled it. Wrong. So it's it there's a there's an R in there. There's an invisible R. There's an um, there's, there's, it's 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 a you, silent R. You know how you get silent letters? Yeah. yeah. This is an invisible one. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. say it but it's not actually there. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's R crew. It's okay. R crew. But yeah, I I missed a letter, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you missed it. But I spell it up. right in tournaments. Yeah, I've nice. got a I've got a friend, like um he's also Virtual Bacon's best friend. Like uh, I think that his um there was a few times where he wanted to make up a name, so it was like, you know, nom nom. So like, you know, when you're eating something. Oh yeah. Nom, nom. Nom, nom. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, then yeah. he accidentally spelled his mon mon <laughs> or something. And you just get stuck with it. Did you get stuck yeah, with it? Yeah. Like, mon mon. Well, yeah. Like, like I, feel, I feel like also after you've been playing for quite a while, it's really hard to change your name. Yeah. Like I can't I I can't change it now. I, mean, I can't like, change mine. Mine's just stuck with me forever. Yeah. 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 Like like I've I didn't realize when I was making when I was actually making the account under Arcro that it would stick. Yeah, like I just assumed. What that about Corn Wallace? No, I knew that was that was that was a keeper. You that know, was a keeper. That, was, that keeper. was definitely a keeper. Like I, I just like I couldn't be bothered thinking of a name at the time, yeah. so I just typed in the first thing that I th- thought of, <laughs> and typed it, it wrong. Okay. No, 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 no. Play, PlayStation Three, I typed it. Oh, okay, right. oh, but yeah. play, so when I when I bought my PlayStation Four, I typed it wrong. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> but yeah, so that's that's I guess that's the story. So yeah, it stands for Royston Crew. So the Royston Crew, anyone that knows us back then, we were absolute trash players. That was that was both of us and our flatmate Ryan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we were all awful. Awful. And it was it was lots of fun. Mm. Why was is it called that? the Royston Crew? But well, because we lived on Royston Street. Oh, Royston Street. We lived okay. with a flat living on Royston Street. It was pretty. Hard and we were the crew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with a three. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Royston crew, eh? Yeah. It sounds cool, though. Royston, you know, like it sounds like... It's a, a good... It, 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 I, do, it's not... do you know what I should have done? I should have just had my name as Royston. Yeah. Can I change that? I think a lot of people do call you Royston, or they used to at least. When it was Royston crew, that's what they called you. But now you've trimmed it down. I've trimmed it down you in the worst R. possible way. You can just be R. Just Why don't you just change your name to Barnaby? Like, and then it, no, then no, it fits with the image. No, no, okay, can I officially change my name to Royston? Yeah. You could, yeah. yeah. You, I don't see why not. I, I have oh, no we're, problem with we're, that. we're on stream, right? Yeah, 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 do it, do it. Yeah, okay, my name is officially Royston. It's Excellent. Royston. All it's right. Royston now? Can we change that? Royston. <laughs> <laughs> can you what, picture so what you is it? R-O-Y-S-T-O-N. S-T-O-N, Royston. Yeah, there we go. Alright, done. It's official. I'll make it. On the Salt Shaker podcast as well. Yep, there we That's go. It. Wow, I feel I feel very special. Oh, great! <laughs> now, now there's an extra layer to the story. Yeah, mm-hmm. just add another layer. And, yeah. <laughs> it's the the story was too cold. Yes. Yeah. 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 Blanket sp- over it. We gotta spice it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, um, you guys 
have you guys listened to any of these podcasts and everything? I've, I've listened to pretty much all of them, I think. I've just what, what's your favorite one? Uh, I kind of I quite like the Rambo Civil one just because it was so. I don't know. Those are two people that are so unorthodox. Their, yeah, they're living in their own worlds, you know. And it was kind of interesting getting a peek into what their worlds actually like. You know, it's like a strange existence. Yeah. You know, like they've got they're like a weird like supernova that's sort of just they're just sort of you know exploding, just going on all the time. And every time you hear them interact, it's just like, what the hell is happening over there? You know, they sound absolutely crazy. But well, what's, other, what was funny people. though? What what really sparked um, you know, the need of having those two on the podcast was really the LPL opening. Oh, yeah. It was like, you know, they, they just bicker at each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and everything. And, um, it, and it just made everyone around them laugh. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, I need to have these two. And they're like... <laughs> and, and if we had Chicago yeah. there as well, there would be the Three Stooges, easily. Where was he? Where was he today? Why was he not... He's busy. He's always busy. He's always busy. Yeah, like we're we're meant to be really really close family friends. Right. Um, we're meant to be. Oh man. Well, that's, we're that's meant cold. to be. That is cold. Well, I mean, um, we're we're really good friends. We're yeah. really good friends. Um, and today since it's my wife's birthday, it's yeah. just like say, hey, you want to come out for dinner? And then he just no replies. Oh. So okay. yeah. All right. Okay, so he's in the dog box, is he? Uh, it's pretty he's sad. He's in the Corona dog box. Ah, uh, I wouldn't say that. You wouldn't. Nah, okay. No, nah, I wouldn't say that. It'll be out pretty soon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see about that. So, um, so we've actually got your names and everything like that. So, you picked up Yoshimitsu. Yeah. Mr. Fergus. Yeah. And um, obviously, Yoshimitsu is a really hard character to learn. Yeah. How did, how was that for you? Uh, I think. I don't think he's particularly... Uh, I think, like, strangely enough, he's not a character that suits me very well, I don't think. I think I have kind of a basic play style. Um, and the reason I'm playing Yoshi now... Well, actually, the reason I play every character that I've ever played is I like to play characters that no one else plays. If I, I'm, I'm a bit of a tech and hipster in the sense that if I see a lot of people doing the same you thing that like I do... Too. Is it the beard? Yeah. <laughs> and the cloth here. And okay, the I shirts. told you, that's natural. That's just what my hair does, okay? okay? All right? <laughs> But, but I feel no, like you got no control. No, I don't. Well, <laughs> okay, I've got a little bit of control, but it's it's difficult, you know. Anyway, back to Yoshi. Anyway, so um, I find that if I see people doing the same thing that I do or playing in the same way that I do, that I get bored with my character. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was one of the reasons. That so I that's why you can't play Jack. Because yeah. everyone plays Jack. Yeah, I could play Jack. He seems super easy, and I've, I've played play, him a couple I've, of times. I've played with Jack. Yeah, and I picked him up in about five minutes, and he was fun. <coughs> but I just feel like I'd be playing like everyone else. You know, it's mm-hmm. it's it's not fun to do. So I found that um. Yoshi's a good choice because no one can be bothered to learn how to play him. And if you do play him, you're, by definition, unique because there's no one else that's you actually You picked up Wang for the same reason. Exactly. Right? That's the same reason I play Wang. I pick sort of that sort of low-tier, sort of shitty character that I know no one's, no one's going to actually want to play. And I just get hooked on them. So, so but, what, not even Gunryu? I, Gun- I was tempted to do Gunryu, actually. But um, but I just I didn't like his, his jabs. They just felt really awkward. But I actually, yeah, 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 all, the, yeah all the pushy yeah, palmy one. stuff, it just <laughs> looks strange. His, his, his jobs are... Well, oh, his, 11, 11 frames as well, or 12 frames? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah something like that. So it's a lot slower than <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the 10 frames. It just feels awkward. Is that, was that kind of the same reason you picked up Leo as well? Yeah, Leo was kind of hipsterish as well. But um, but Leo was good. <laughs> yeah, she was, but no yeah. one really played her because she's got an awkward... I think the big problem with Leo is that um, it's kind of difficult to find your flow with her, like... She doesn't have a go-to low move like most characters do. Most characters, you think, I want to do a low, I'll do this. Well, she's got that big low, that, uh, yeah, that, but, that, you know, that down back four you If you just want to pester, pester someone and sort of annoy them and irritate them and get a reaction out of them, you know she just doesn't have that same kind of option. Does Yoshi? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's got down four. He's got down four, and I kind of use it like that, but that's a generic move. But yeah. he's got Shall that same doesn't have too much. She's got down four. She's got Side down three. Four. Side step four. Oh, she's got that freaking stance slow that pisses me off every time you play. But that's kind of like a big low. That's a big commitment. Yeah, yeah I know. That's that is a side to blow. No, it is no, big. no, no, that, like, you know what? What's that one? Is she like... The scissor kick. The scissor kick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, that's a big low. That's definitely big. Pisses me off. It's yeah, big... <laughs> yeah. Triggered. He's yeah, triggered. salty, yeah. yeah. He's still mad. He's still mad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just being yeah. in this house again makes me a bit salty. <laughs> <laughs> But I feel like for me that actually Wang um, was my main in Tekken Take 2. Ryoshi was always, always secondary for me. Mm-hmm. And that was a really big hit when I lost Wang. I felt like that took a lot of my game away. Mm-hmm. Most of the time, whenever I went to tournaments and stuff, everyone would say, 
man, your wing's really annoying. I find it really difficult to fight. Yo, yo, she's okay. But, you know, like, they, they well, genuinely just felt well, like they were on different... Was Wang your anchor? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for me, I think so. And I felt like Yoshi just kind of tagged along. Um, so once Wang left, I kind of was left in the lurch a little bit. Um, and so right before Tekken 7 dropped, I also picked up Lee. Mm-hmm. I picked up Lee and Violet team. And the only reason I played them is because um, they're characters that don't fit my play style at all. They've got no good with punishment. They just have pokes all day. And my offense is quite bad, I think, relatively speaking. So I picked them up to force myself to play in a way that I never play uh-huh. um, and so now I'm thinking about picking him up in Tekken 7 now that he's actually decent so I mean I just got bodied by BG playing Yoshi today but you know other than that, <laughs> other are, you than that a, are you in a character crisis as well no I think I'm okay but I just feel like a little bit of a change and that's so I think I've got two I, I think that I had that character crisis last week or the week before I'm yeah. currently in a like he's in, he's I've, in, he's I've in actually um, felt yeah. I've actually felt really tempted to sideline Shall you? The problem is that you always come back, you know. Mm. Like you always, you will always come back, and I think you know that in your heart that you're gonna, you'll go away for a while. You'll try new things. You'll experiment, you know. Well, look, I like. I'm really keen to drop Dragon off, but like, I haven't done it just because like I don't have any other characters that I can bring to a tournament right now. Yeah, but tournament season is over, so we can, so do, what we can do what we want. So we can learn new characters. Exactly. Now. Yeah, we can do exactly what we want. And for all those that just tuned in, hello everyone. Hey guys. It's actually good. We've got seven people <laughs> listening, so it's actually good. Yeah, it's it's decent. It's, yeah. Compared to the hundred and eighteen that of those people that are actually uh, in the standing face. If anyone, well, if they're anything like me, they don't they don't listen live. I never. I it's not on the right time for me to listen live. I normally listen to the vods later. So mm, you know. Mm. Well, now it's also up in uh, YouTube, which is always good. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's, that's oh. handy. That's yeah. Handy. Is yeah. that Myvin in the chat? That's Myvin in the chat. And you bodied me. Huh? I don't think I bodied you, Myvin. I think I think it was. Uh, um, I think it was. It was two zero, but it was a close two zero. I like this this tournament. I felt as, like I. I see. I was won. watching that game, and like I was really nervous you were gonna lose. Yeah, me, yeah, me too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, like I, I felt as though you were gonna lose the second game. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I think I think he just needs a bit more Yoshi experience. I got away with some stuff that I probably You got away be. with so much shit. <laughs> yeah. So much shit that I was watching. I, I spilled the blood of like, the water and I was like, okay, I'm going to press buttons until this is over. And I did. And I got... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. Sometimes you just got to do it, you know? Sometimes you just feel like, you know, like, you know, this isn't a logical decision, mm-hmm. but I'm in a tournament. This person's anxious and I might be able to get away with this so I'm going to try yeah, it you yeah, know for sure so yeah. are you going to completely drop Yoshi or you... nah oh, I don't know nah you shouldn't I don't think I will you shouldn't um but you know I might just cut like not play him for a couple of months mm. and just, just, just like put, put him on the sideline yeah or... I don't think he's ever going to go away unless they bring in Wang fully in which case I'm dropping Yoshi and I'm playing Wang or if they bring in a little, like a Wang like replacement kind of like Josie was to Bruce that would be mm-hmm. amazing um if I, that happened then I'd drop Yoshi I'm, wait, I'm waiting for my my Chang to come back. Yeah, there's a few people waiting on the Chang. So, um, Jamie yeah. wants Julia, right? Yeah, 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 that's yeah, right. yeah, yeah. That's, uh, who, that's who you'd want as well, right? Yeah, I. And then they announced JC. Yeah. Yeah. That well, like, like, I, <laughs> like, because I felt as though, like, in tag, I was better with JC than I was with Dragon Off. Uh. No, you had different playstyles with both. Actually, I think yeah. it was kind of similar to my characters. I think I think your dragon off was always a little bit better, but you know, it's, she's a different character. Yeah. yeah, she's a really weird character to play. She is. With, she is. Yeah, you know. But, and that, but that's um, what was cool about it. She had such a unique playstyle. Yeah, I really liked her. You know, like you she's could, you pretty could, much like you know the Ling Xiao Yu's, the Nina's, you know the 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 Julia's. And things like that. They're just on totally different sort of... Yeah. Yeah. I think it's, yeah. A, it's reliance on Ford Ford 1 and no DF1 really to speak of. And which, was, which is actually really weird because you don't have a poke that you can just jam on. Yeah. That you, re- you actually have to do like a motion. Exactly. Point. Yeah. And I, and I think she had one of the So most... she's more of a street fighter kind of yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And and vibe. With, with, with the shotgun, the down, down forward one as well. Yeah. But I yeah. think she had the most interesting move in the game, which was uh, War Drum. The oh, Ford, the... Ford 2 till the 1. Which was, was so much fun. It was such. There's such a I, unique. I move, really you know? loved that, like, because we played each other a lot, obviously. Um, yeah. So like every time I'd get you up against the wall with um, Julia, 
it would be both of us just waiting <laughs> for that perfect moment where yeah. I could do the war drum. For those who don't know, it, 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 only, it was a natural combo. It was a high, and do you know the move I'm talking about? It's a move which hits high and low at the same time. Yes, yes. And it turns so right. space to the right distance. Yeah. And the low just will hit, and then it's a natural combo to the mid. So it suddenly becomes a you know, full wall splat, does heaps of damage. I just think it was a really cool mechanic, right? Because so you guys are both Julia fans. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of Julia, but I don't play it because uh, you know, it was Barnaby's character. Was never, character. I'd never do that to him. Well, you, I did pick her up once. Actually. You you stole my dragon off. <laughs> yeah, <I> yeah. Did. <laughs> <laughs> so with Tekken, was there any other fighting games that you guys play? None. No. None. None. <laughs> <laughs> no. I just felt like I felt like Tekken took too, took too much of my time. You mm-hmm. know, like I think yeah. I wanted to study it and learn it a little bit too much. I see. Okay. And I just I didn't. I only ever play about two games at a time yeah. anyway, the, max. And the I just the, the yeah. idea of learning an entire new game was just... It was too much for me to deal with yeah. while learning all of Tekken. Yeah. Mm, true, true. But I feel like I don't even have the other games down to like a basic level. Like Street Fighter yeah. and things like I can vaguely understand what's going on. Just but throw like, fireballs. Yeah, yeah but I feel do. like you know it would be so much more interesting to watch if I knew what was going on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Same with Marvel and... Yeah. Spanish what about other stuff? games like you know uh, what, do you guys consider yourselves as actual gamers or was it is it just ma- mainly Tekken yeah well I think it's different right because um, I'll, I'll play like like indie puzzle games yeah um, I'll play them as like I only ever play those games as like relaxing times mm. but I'll never actually like play games for like the only game I play with purpose is Tekken yeah, I think I'm about the same. Everything else feels like I'm messing around, you know, but somehow yeah. Tekken yeah. sort of transcends that and becomes I think almost that work. You guys probably might not know, and the crowd probably doesn't know, um, is that uh, I'm quite big on um, single players yeah. games and everything, and um, I feel that Tekken is really one of my competitive games yeah. that I like to play. I like to yeah. go out there and I like to, like you know, play other people mm. and things, but... Most of the times, there, yeah, you know, if, if it's another game, it's like mo- it's mainly single player stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't know. feel like there's no pressure on you to succeed. Yeah, like, yeah. like all, all those games, like I, I get bored with triple R games a lot. Yeah, I, I like I'm really not that much into like amazing graphics and like spectacle in games. So like, so I, you think that like you know playing a game like Uncharted? I really don't care. Yeah. Don't I, I don't give a shit at yeah. all. It doesn't like if the game's got good gameplay, the visuals do enhance it. I think Tekken Seven's a good example of that. Um, I'm way more into gameplay. Yeah. So like, I'll I'll play a lot of puzzle games. I'll play a lot of games yeah. that like. Well, I mean, something like element. you know, Uncharted, Last of Us, and and all that, all those AAA games, they have really amazing gameplay. I played and... Last of Us for probably half an hour and then stopped. You just and didn't then, like it. Such I was like, curious. and like all like my flatmate forced it on me and was like you have to play this game it's so amazing and I, like like it sat in my room for maybe a month and he kept hassling me about it and like he fight- set you up to dislike it yeah though. he set me up for you, dislike. Were, you were never going to enjoy it after yeah. you tried to force it on yeah, you yeah yeah I, and like and then I played it for like half an hour and it was like oh this is a cool game but I I don't see the point of playing it I yeah. don't understand why I'm playing it I'm just wasting my time I think that kind of speaks for every game, right? Really. <laughs> you so know, you like, guys play a lot of indie games, but not really like big on like a lot playing a lot of other games. Just really, nah. no. We we play like Rocket League with a. So you guys don't consider friend. yourselves as like gaming nerds? I think we are. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are in the sense that we're you know skinny white boys, and we um play spend like, a lot of our time playing and or thinking about games. But we don't like we're not sort of sitting around at home all day every day playing games and um you know like and trying out all these different things i'm just here to play Tekken, you know and that's yeah. pretty much it i might try to just watch a movie in my downtime. yeah 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 watch a movie hang out with my girlfriend play yeah. Tekken. you know that's kind of mm-hmm. it's like the cycle right yeah yeah but this is this is a good part of the cycle it's a good it's like a lot of my time yeah mm-hmm. and i think it still is and i feel like i'm probably slowly going to okay. stop playing online as yeah. much but yeah i feel like i'm you know it's a, bit, it's a big part yeah. of, of, of my life. Yeah, definitely. Well, what we'll do is we'll have our very last break, guys. Like I said, um, yeah, just going to be working on more padding, obviously, um, with uh, Southern Cross Up. We're right in the middle of it. Yeah. And, yeah, um, yeah with, with Southern Cross Up, I feel that tomorrow's going to be another big day. If 
you guys aren't doing anything um, you know tomorrow if you guys are listening but you guys don't really uh, know that there's a scene uh, yeah come on down to Zone Cross Up it's going to be really really good um, what's going to be the next one is it like uh, Christmas one Jesus isn't it Damager? Christmas yeah, yeah Christmas Damager yeah so that's probably going to be uh, happening around about December sometime mm. so um, tournament season is over it's so, just so such a relief. <laughs> yeah so um yeah don't go away guys we'll be right back after this hey there kia ora ni hao ma kanichiwa and anyang haseyo we would like to formally invite you taking too long come to southern cross up head on down to southern cross up happening at the Crown Plaza from the 6th to the 8th of October. Meet the entire fighting game community. Meet our very own E-Black Cornova. Killer boys with some killer games. If you like fighting games, bring your mates. Everyone's invited. Hey man, you guys shut up. I'm trying to play. Yeah, just don't be that guy. Get ready for such titles as Street Fighter V, Super Smash Bros, Marvel vs Capcom Infinite, and last but not least, our Second very seven! crazy girl. Kids, please ask your parents before attending. No taking players were harmed during the making of this production. No taking players' feelings were harmed during the making of this production. If you're ever inclined to do so. Hey, what's up, internet? It's Virtual Bacon. This is Cornova. Hi, this is Squishy Bob. Hey, this is NCA. This is Zazos. And you're listening to... And you're listening to... The Salt Shaker Podcast. The Salt Shaker Podcast. The Salt Shaker Podcast. The Salt Shaker Podcast. All right, we're back, guys. Um, funny, funny that, uh, you know, during the break there, uh, we, have, uh, we have these two talking about which waifus they're gonna pick <laughs> so let's let's not get into that come on let's let's let the crowd sort of oh God. <laughs> think about it and see who it might be for these two everything i mean who knows like for for cornwallis there it's probably yoshimitsu <laughs> <laughs> yoshimitsu yeah. might be a chick who i do him. i do him. you yeah. do him? yeah i do him. Well, you're only gay if you love him uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah so yeah. Just like how you love Barnaby. Yeah. It's a, it's a special kind of love. It's a special kind of love, eh? Yeah. The amount, the amount of times we get hassled for being a couple. Yeah, yeah, jealous. yeah. Oh, but, you know, that, that's that's what happens when you have when you're best mates, you know? Yeah. You're like, you're like Joey and Chandler. <laughs> oh, God. So you, you know? pointed very specifically at him for Joey and me for Chandler. I think, I think I'm happy being Chandler. I think everyone would prefer would to be you, Chandler. Would you like to be Chandler over, over Joey? Joey? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. He's way more interesting than Joey. Joey's just kind of, you know, he, he gets laid a lot more, but it's, that's about it, you know? Do you get laid a lot more, Barnaby? Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> so, um, yeah, so with the whole, um, you know, is there any other things? Obviously, okay, so in this segment here, we're, not, we're just going to throw Tekken out of the window. Cool. Okay, cool. we're going to be talking about our crew or Barnaby mm-hmm. or Royston. 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 Yeah. Royston. Yeah, get it right. Or, um, <laughs> you know, we're, we're going to be talking about Fergus and not, um, you know, yeah, um, yeah, Cornwallis or whoever. Cornwallis. Yep. Um, what do you guys, do you guys do anything else other than Tekken, obviously? Like, you know, because I know that you guys also love your coffee culture and oh, your yeah. beer culture. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. because you guys are from Wellington that's, right that is, now. That is the thing to do in Wellington. Yeah. Yeah, so w- what else do you guys like to do? I feel, I, mean, like, I feel like in this stage of my life, Barnaby's a lot more interesting than I am. So I'll let, I'll let okay. him talk about you this. Want, you you um, want to take the... Well, uh, well, you need you bands and stuff. How, how am I interested? I'm kind of interested to hear why you think I'm interested. Well, you, you play in bands at the moment and I don't. I don't oh, know. you yeah. play in a band? Yeah, yeah. I play oh, okay. drums. Okay, well, um, yeah. is this like a local Wellington yeah, yeah, band? Yeah, yeah, like a local Wellington band. What, what genre? Uh, so, oh, yeah. like, um, if you know, like, New Order, that band, like, 80s. Well, New so Order like, type stuff, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that kind of stuff. Oh, so you dropped the whole Vanilla Ice thing. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Vanilla Ice was never really. <laughs> yeah, it, was like, it, was um, but, it was a pipe dream. But we're called Polygon Sons. Um, the lead singer, like, I think writes all the songs just before he goes to sleep. So they're pretty spacey. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I've been to a few gigs before, they were definitely spacey. Yeah, I, th- I think it's pretty spacey music. Um, 
After like, a few drinks, eh? Yeah. yeah, I'd say so. Like, one of my songs is called Why Are There Clouds at Night? Which is definitely a just before you go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, why Are There Clouds at Night? Yeah, why, yes. why Are There Clouds at Night? That's the name of the song. Yeah. <laughs> why why there, are there clouds at night? Why would there not night? be clouds at night? <laughs> I, I, I've asked him so many times. And, like, he, he knows how silly it is. Okay. But, but we're, right. just, we're just rolling with it. Yep. Like, um, but yeah, well, like we play festivals every so often. I think we got a festival coming up soon. Yeah. May um like early next year. There's a festival that we'll be playing. Okay. But we play like we practice like probably like once a week. Um, we play shows maybe once every couple months, mm-hmm. and it's sort of like it's not anything serious. It's nothing that we do for like a job or anything, but mm-hmm. like. All it's of sort of like me doing this podcast. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's like, like, like it's Hearts just, in it. It's yeah. just fun. Yeah. Like, yeah. And so. I, I used to play in bands too back in the day. I think that's why I feel less interesting because I don't really do that anymore. Well, what did you... I play the drums, drums as well. Drums as well. Oh, yeah, wow, yeah. you guys are really best <laughs> friends. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, we... Uh, I don't know, I played years and years ago and I boarded myself an electric kit, but now... But you never play. No, well, my, the flat that I'm living in, I can't, I can't set it up, so I've just got an electric drum kit, like a $2,500 electric drum kit just sitting there. So you guys house. are big on music as well? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally. yeah. What, what, kind of, what kind of music do you guys like listening to? I listen to, like, almost everything. Yeah. Like yeah, he genuinely um, does. Sometimes he would just send me a random song. I'm like, what the hell was that? That didn't even sound like a song. You yeah, know? like it's like really like weird. um like I. I is see, it a lot of indie stuff though? Um, it's it's a lot of like local um Wellington music, and a local like um New Zealand music that I just run into by being in that scene yeah. you so, know what's funny though is that in wellington you you get all sorts of music yeah um, totally, there, um, totally. you know playing in cafes and stuff whereas yeah. over here you get like all the american stuff yeah 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 it's yeah. like always the same stuff that they'll play on the edge like 20 times a day yeah or something like so, that so like i'll like i don't really organize any of the gigs that i do so i'll just show up at the gig mm-hmm. and i don't know who really playing mm-hmm. i don't know what time we're starting. I just show up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, and so like quite often I'll just like show up and the band that we're playing with is just amazing. So like I'll download their music off like Bandcamp, um, or whatever. <laughs> Bandcamp. You were about to say Bandcamp. <laughs> so one yeah. time at Bandcamp. Yeah. Uh, or like, what's it? Well, let's not ba- talk about uh, Bandcamp. Is it San- SoundCloud or? No, 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 no. The Wellington one. Oh, oh you guys know. don't even know it. Maybe it is actually uh, a bank. Yeah, <laughs> yeah actually have no idea. Um, and then, like... And then I spend most of my time just looking up new music. Yeah. And then sending it at various for him not to listen you could to have it. Up, you could have <laughs> Honor. He makes music sometimes. Oh, does really? It? Mm. Does it? I didn't know that. No, I didn't tell him that. That's why he's got all those locks, you know. Yeah, like, like those, so that he can jam to his metal, metal locks. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can imagine that. Yeah. Yeah, so what about what about yourself, Fergie? Uh, what do you What do you listen to? What do I listen to? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty varied at the moment. I think it's because I've got Spotify. I tend to just sort of bounce around. Anything. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I think I sort of... I more twin towards sort of... Um, to rock type stuff, down to like stuff from the 80s, those kind of things. What's your like favourite band of all time? My favourite band of all time? Oh, jeez. I don't know. I, that's always a really hard question. I think it depends on like what time of the year it is. Is it... Is it don't, don't say Metallica. No, it's not Metallica. You don't say Metallica. No, 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 it's not Metallica. So I always hate that question because I find that my favorite band changes like from week to week. Yeah, like but I, think I it... like I I just go through obsessions. Yeah, like I'll go through a binge of like one band and then I'll skip to another band. But you're one of those people that'll play the song and then we'll just play that music on for like an entire week and mm-hmm. then you'll hate it. You'll be like, why did I ever listen yeah, to yeah, this? You no, know, it's totally and then it's on to yeah. the next one. No. Yeah. I think I think for me though, um, I went through a huge. Um, stage of just sort of electronic music. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm I'm in that. Right oh, now. Like you know, like you know, yeah. your future bass, future yeah, play, uh, yeah, future bass, glitch hop, yeah, um, drum and bass and yeah. things like that. But then, re- uh, like, I sort of filtered that all out, and I felt that like sort of my favorite genre on in that sort of music is liquid drum and bass. I don't oh, yeah. you know what that is. No. Something that's, like you know, it, it's drum and bass, but it's not like the whole, like, crazy, like, popping pills and, you know, doing that kind of stuff. It's just really just chilled cafe music. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. I think yeah. it's what you're doing, you know. If you, I've, 
there are some albums that I can sit down and just listen to the album. Like, mm-hmm. that could be what I do. I don't really if... like albums, you see. That's the thing. I oh, love albums. Oh, I, I don't I really... You're in bad like... company here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, You're it's, no, it's like, basically, I just pick the songs I really like. No, no so yeah, I would no. hate you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you just rather just like put in like a, an album and then just listen. Yeah, to I would thing. much rather that. from from top. I mean, I'll probably do it. I'll, I'll do it like at least once. Mm. You know, um, for if I do get an album, mm. and then I'll just listen to the whole thing. But then you know, I'll just be like, oh, okay, what's that song? Okay, yeah. I like that song. And then, but I, the albums are always structured in, in like in a meaningful way. You know, like they normally go through certain types of songs in the middle, mm-hmm. and certain types of songs at the ends. And I feel like take it through a journey. Exactly. Yeah, you got to be taken through a journey. <laughs> don't forget the journey. Don't just enjoy the sugary. I, I don't know I, you see, you see, I didn't know that that was a thing. Well, it depends what kind of music you listen to, I suppose. Okay. Maybe not yeah. for maybe not for liquid bass or whatever. Or, or what about to. what about like you know just normal pop music? Uh, like, you, don't, I, you don't get well, that. Like, you? Well, like, I, I, well, I really it's... don't listen to normal pop yeah. music. So, like, oh, here we go. I'm, 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 I'm old a, Wellington well, Barnaby. You can't talk. Yeah, no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> but still, you know, like I think the artists that put effort into making sure their album sort of you know. Flow. flows or you know like there are certain bands that are really good at that i think you know like queens of the stone age is one well, that comes to mind there was one that i really enjoyed like there's one uh, album that i'll actually listen from the very top mm. to the end and i've done this on many occasions and i really really like it and that's lincoln park's meteora that's oh, that's okay. my favorite I'm, I'm, more, I'm more of a hybrid theory guy man oh, I, really? st- I stopped listening to lincoln park after hybrid theory but yeah, like like Hybrid Theory was amazing. I've got Hybrid kind of... Theory as well, but I like Meteora more Is for some one, reason. There was one after that, right? There yeah. Was one after, okay, there was yeah. Numb and stuff. Was it Numb and Faint and... That's the one. That's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and yeah, yeah. Uh, From the Inside. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. You know, Numb. Um, yeah, Numb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that was when they got yeah. big, I think. But, yeah, that's when yeah. they got big. Well, but they were the, already big. What, but, was yeah. fun, what was great about that album, though, is that um, it's sort of... Uh, every end of the song, you can actually hear a little bit about... Uh, you know, uh, on the other song. Oh, so like, oh, you didn't so it, so basically, it, there's no breaks in between if you yeah, keep right. playing that. Um, it's just the whole thing. It's just one whole song. To be honest, I hate it when they artists do that because it means you have to listen to the whole album. You Not can't just have really. It. Like, you have it on shuffle and it just it starts with the end of another song. Oh, and, and then you want to listen to that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. it just all gets it all out of order. Oh, um, look at the chat, man. So, Queens of the Stone Age. Thank you. So. Who's uh, there? Meteora is definitely better than Hybrid Theory. Who's saying this? In my know. opinion, that's uh, Sans. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, where was Auckland Prodigy today? Ask, uh, he need, okay, tell us where you were. This is so. Uh, this guy is um, your prodigy. So we've got a prodigy in Wellington. You know prodigy. Yeah, of course I know prodigy. Yeah, T two F K K is our prodigy. Oh, okay. And we decided that your prodigy is um, is Sargs. Who's um, about? He's about the same age as ours. They're, they're both, you know, the young kids. I think they're about. He's about twenty, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. <coughs> and I and I can't believe he wasn't here. I don't know why he wasn't. But I've been hassling him online for a long time about coming to events and stuff. So oh, okay. do, you, do you mean our prodigy or? No, oh, there one. I gave up on ours. He's he's moving to London apparently. What? Useless. After we brought him up from the dirt, you know. What's uh, this? Oh, there's a, there's a guy who plays in Wellington with us a lot, and we're sort of. He's he's been playing for about a year. He's really good, and he's really good. He's wave dashing, you know. He's back dash cancelling. Okay. He's got really good electrics and took, that kind of thing. Took him under our wing a little bit. Yeah, yeah, and I just kind of I I feel like you want to see younger people doing well in tech and scene because if you look at even look at the top eight. Well, actually, well you look at Dan Banter. He's doing really good. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true, yeah. actually. But he's the exception to the rule. You know, everyone else is like you know old. We're all olds, you know, Te- we're all Te- old people. Tekken is an old game, right? Yeah, it's an old game, and it's got legacy skill to it. It's you know? a lot of, uh, yeah, that's that's the thing about Tekken. It's got a huge history. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's stuff that people and, are doing that they've been doing for 10, well, more than 10 years, obviously. Yeah. You know, the same stuff has been working yeah. for Paul for years, but... Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Anyway, that's 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 um, the story of Sarg. So he's supposed to be coming to tournaments, but I'm not sure why he's not. Yeah. Maybe he couldn't afford it. Well, like, 70 bucks? Yeah, I should have sponsored him too. Yeah. Could knock me into losers as well. <laughs> yes, you're, you're pretty salty no, about that. No, I'm not actually. I'm not actually salty about that. Whole... It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed in myself, but I had fun. So. Yeah. So, let's go back to those topics of uh, of Fergus and Barnaby. Mm-hmm. So you guys both playing in a band, both playing on the drums, both 
quite seems quite big on like you know just music buffs yeah, yeah. and all that which is really really cool yeah. so been to any you know concerts or anything like that we've been to we used to go to gigs together all the time yeah. in Dunedin um, the local gigs all over the place in Dunedin uh, it was kind of so big. you really you know did enjoy the local music scene yeah, I think it depends yeah. where you are. I don't. I like. I mean, the the Wellington. I mean, you know more about the Wellington scene than I do. Obviously, I, I try and drag you out. So what? You, you guys are like what six sixty fans and things like that. Not those kind of bands. I think there's more sort of local bands that were never going to go anywhere. When we all knew they were never going to yeah. go anywhere, but, but that was part of the fun. We just enjoyed them yeah. at the time. Yeah, but you should come out some more. I, yeah. I try. I try and drag this out to gigs so often. Yeah, and just never come. Yeah, he's always like. I'm feeling tired today. No, I just say I don't want to come. <laughs> I don't have to come up with an excuse for the game. I just not... say I don't want to. You know, like I don't, don't bother, don't wanna. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like it's too far away because it's not in my house. You know, you can turn lazy, old man. I, I I think it happens to be honest, and and I don't know if you found the same thing, but when you start living with someone that you are. Um, with your significant other, I guess you'd say you yeah. start to get more lazy on some things. You know, you're just like ah. Oh, I can't really be bothered going to that party. I'd prefer not to, you know? Yeah, well, that's just, sometimes, you know, when she'll say, hey, look, hey, honey, there's a big sale going along. You know, go, going at, um, you know, in this store. And I'm like, yeah, no, I don't want to go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But you can just say that, right? You can say it to her and it's not a problem. Single life. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, man. Keep your hands off each other. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be. I, I, didn't, I didn't promise I would do that. No, I think we've had... We've had... I don't know. We've had many battle royales at, at um at what what's known as gay chicken. Uh, do you know what gay chicken? Is? Yeah, I know what yeah, gay yeah, chicken yeah. is. Yeah. And I think Too I don't many. think I don't think you've ever beaten me. I mean, I think I am like my ability. I I'm, I'm actually fine with crossing many boundaries when it comes to physical contact with this man. <laughs> is it because you're just that comfortable with your sexuality? Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, I, think yeah. I think that is it. Yeah, yeah. He clearly isn't, you know. Well, you tried to feed me a tomato with chopsticks tonight. That was really funny. It was, <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't, this is the first time I heard yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we went and had dinner after We went and had a nice dinner. Was we it a nice... candlelight dinner? <laughs> yeah, there was a bit oh, of that. Right, 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 right. <laughs> but like, he tried to feed you stuff with chopsticks. Like, afterwards. It's because I know he hates it so much. Yeah. He really hates it. And that just makes it so much better. You know, trying... Why to... don't you guys just like try... Have you... Okay... Have you ever led anyone on that you two were a couple? Yes. Uh, yes, I re- we have. Have we done that? Yeah, we have. <laughs> okay. I remember that very vividly and it worked. Perfectly. Okay, go on. Okay. Tell I us about that. The story. No, I, I want to hear this. I want to hear this. Um, and I'm pretty sure they want to hear this as well. So. <laughs> oh, fuck. Was it, what was the context of it? Must have, must have been one of the... I do remember doing something like that at a few parties once, but I can't remember. I think we did it quite often, actually. Right. I think it was late night drinking at parties and like the someone would be like oh you two are gay couple and we just went with it yeah yeah it is kind okay. of funny just to say yes when that's a specific yeah, question yeah. so yeah let's see what happens when I say yes yeah, you know we like, just went with it yeah it was too funny to say no we had this um, we had this <clears throat> tradition right when we used to go drinking back in Dunedin yes um, so I don't know if you've had scrumpy before yeah yeah, yeah. Is the, the, there's the also scrumpy hands back, back, yeah. back in the younger days back in the younger <laughs> days we used to have a game called scrumps okay which is oh my god I don't know how I this came about I about this game so um, what you did was <clears throat> you had to find someone and you'd you'd challenge them to scrumps which all it would mean that you'd, you'd put, pour some um some scrumpy into a glass and the other person had to pour it into theirs and then you both have to drink it until the scrumpy was done. Mm-hmm. When the scrumpy is done, what you had to do is you get the empty bottle, you had to find, throw Bar- it at Barnaby. find Barnaby wherever he was in the party and throw it at his face and then if Barnaby gets hit in the face, he has to wrestle you. <laughs> and we would be what? at parties where that is the what entire the game. stupidest game? So, how did you guys figure out that rule? I don't know. Well, Fergus threw a bottle at me once, so I wrestled him, yeah. and then suddenly it turned into a it game. It turned into a game. And there were so many parties that we'd go to, we wouldn't know anyone. Like, well, we'd know, like, one person. We would go to some random party that someone would And there would be this to. moment where Barnaby would be talking to a girl or something, and yeah. I'd, like, pop my head in it, and I'd slam try, the scrumpy bottle in his face. to hit on a girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this, this scrumpy... I remember this one time where it just hit you straight in the side of the face... And you just turned and looked at me and thought, oh man, now I have to wrestle him. Yeah. You know? And Try, we... Trying to pick up this lady. Yeah, yeah. And suddenly I have to go wrestle first. Yeah, but, but he knew he had to do it. That I was did the thing. it. Like, that I was the rules. And we 
you know. Mm-hmm. So what is this an inside joke between just the two of you? There's no joke. No, there's, 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 there's the, the entire, entire joke. Story. But the thing is, that, you know, I knew it annoyed him a lot, so I wanted to keep doing it. Yeah, there was a uh, rhyme was part of that as well. Actually, we should say the, uh, other, yeah. the other part of the I think that joke, what we yeah. should do is because you know the standing fierce boys. Mm. Every time when we're out of town. Yeah, we're out of Auckland, and we got like a we have a house. Yeah, there's always like booze and craziness yeah. and things. Yeah, like you know you got like you know Danny in the background going Yahoo, yeah, yeah. you know, and, th- and things like that. And then you got like you know him <laughs> asking Sim to shave him oh and my, things like that. Oh yeah, it's just unpleasantness yeah. anyway. Yeah. But um, we'll all be drinking. Yep. And I remember once I actually said I said um. I was really bad at the game because I was just playing Jack and then you just had Connor just bodying me yeah, the whole yeah. time. And then I actually got so... I was kind of pissed already. And I said, it's like shooting... Uh, it's like shooting barrels from a fish. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, so it was like, you know, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I just... Yeah, I was like... I was slurring already. I was like, yeah. oh. and then like, and then just as I like figured that I said that, I'm like, crap. Okay, <laughs> you're done now. I'm done. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. Tell you, it's over. Yeah. So <laughs> if you guys had that game, I'll so like play with you, Fergus, yeah. and then I'll just go and chuck that bottle at like. Don't chuck a bottle. Oh, yes. <laughs> I should. We <laughs> should tell. Off. We should tell like you know one of the big. One of the big guys, like, you know, in standing fears of Street Fighter boys is Chuck one <laughs> out. I go to the next tournament and a scrumpy bottle hits my head. Yeah. I am, like, under law. Are you yeah, he is required. Are you I, gonna... I, I am required to wrestle you. Yeah. It's so if the... you're walking down the street, you know, and if someone just passes you by and takes you out for the scrumpy bottle. But it's... it has to be a scrumpy wrestling. bottle. Does it have to be that person that throws it at you? Yeah, yes. they're the one that gets wrestled. So that's yes. part of it. So I hit him in the face with the scrumpy bottle, but then I have to get wrestled. So, you know, it's not... How how's, how good is your wrestling? Well, it's been a few years yeah, since well, I've played yeah. scrumpy. <laughs> yeah. But, I um... remember where I won the last one. The last one we did was when we were at one of the gigs at Wellington. Uh, in Wellington. And I remember I wrestled you then and I kicked your ass. So. Wait, we... Wrestled yeah, we did. We did. You were playing at the gig. Remember was that oh, one that yeah. I played on the drums at the end as well? That's right. Yeah. And um, yeah, we embarrassed ourselves then. I didn't know anyone. But, I knew everyone. But, I knew no one. Basically, the entire game is see how far we can embarrass each yeah, other yeah. before one of us gives up. Yeah, that's it. And then no, there's no dignity what, left at the end. What, Everyone... what, wow, like you two are like seriously like the best friends. Like you know, <laughs> you know, it's like it's like you know, no girl can have my friend except yeah. me. Yep. <laughs> That's yep. what it is. Yep. So <laughs> it's just like that ad where um, it's like that one ad where you know that dude was like drinking and then he was like talking to this like chick. Yeah. And then, and then, like, his friend gives him, like, a shaken up, like, yeah. can of beer or something. And yeah, then she, yeah. like, hands it to, like, the yeah. girl. Oh, no, no, he opens it in front of the girl and it goes all over the girl. Yeah, yeah that, like, it's that, it's that like... kind of thing. Yeah, oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah. And everyone talks about, whenever we come up for these, they call it our romantic getaways together. I get that a lot. Okay. And I do feel like this would be the perfect ruse. If we actually were, you know, lovers and we didn't want, you know, my girlfriend Don't, to know, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. We're just going, oh, we've got a Tekken tournament this weekend. <laughs> 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 <No>. <laughs> In the same hotel room. And you guys are like, you know, in Fiji somewhere. I was, I was, jo- I was joke with uh, your girlfriend and being like, oh, I'll give him back to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I joke oh with her about God. it too. She's like, yeah, she, she knows that you take priority and that's fine. <laughs> so do you actually prioritize Barnaby? Okay, over I don't over actually do that. <laughs> <laughs> but there have been times yeah. you're like, yeah, I'm going to go hang out with Barnaby today. See you. you know? Yeah, see you later. Yeah. Okay, so you, you guys are definitely BFFs. Yeah. I can so imagine, yeah. like you know, like maybe eighty years down the track, like you know, there'll be like, there'll be like a headstone saying Corn Willis or Fergus Broom, <laughs> and they're right next to him yeah. will be Barnaby, yeah. How <laughs> we, right there. We lasted this long. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a couple of plots over will be my girlfriend somewhere else. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Over somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, man. I don't think she listens to the. No, I'm not. I'm not. Okay. Okay. I think we're safe. Now, what happens if she like? She's like. Oh hey mm-hmm. hun, you know um, I listened to like this. It's actually a Tekken podcast. Yeah. It's called the Salt Shaker. <laughs> yeah. You're like, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Episode nine. Don't listen to that. Don't <laughs> yeah, listen yeah. to that. Nothing happens. I like, think she knows. Yeah, yeah, she does. I think she knows. She knows. Yeah. She knows. Just cause, cause me and say, hey, Chrono, Chrono, delete episode nine. <laughs> <laughs> delete it. Don't yeah. want to know. 
All right, so um, getting to that one part, I mean, we are going over time here, and like guess that you know, we're it's almost time for us to ride off into the sunset, mm-hmm, just mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. I always say. Um, so let's get on to that main question. So, who's your tech and waifu? Tech and waifu, yeah, well, and, and why, go, and why, and why would you marry this girl? Yeah, there you go, go on, baby. You go. Me first. Yep. Well, um, going back to our previous conversation, uh, Julia. Julia. Yeah. Okay. Solo. You did the... say that. You did say um, Oscar before. I did say Oscar before, but I I had forgotten about Julia. Yeah. My my one. You've forgotten about your wife. I know. Well, she's been gone. Yeah, that's true. She hasn't been around. She's... She hasn't been paying you any attention. No, she's. She's just up and left. Yeah, yeah so she's, she's, I think she's, she's like a, she's like a. Uh, I guess it depends what you think about it's, from a character point of view or a personality point of view, but she's she's pretty good at both. So well, you're sort of like um you're sort of like Jamie then. You know, oh, does Jamie love her? Yeah, I thought it was Nina was his. Nah, Jamie's always been like a no, Julia yeah. Chang. Okay. Ah. Kind, of, kind of guy. Yeah. It's it's solely because of that one move. For would, you go, would you go vegan for Julia Chang? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'd probably have to. I'd probably have to. Yeah, yeah, you would. Right. She's probably vegan. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you can I'm okay with that. I'm You're okay, okay with that? I'm okay. But yeah. sometimes, you know, if she's gone, you sometimes like, just you sort of just fry like a steak up. Yeah, totally. <laughs> but, well, well, my my second pick used to be Kazumi until they nerfed her, yeah. and now yeah, she's. But just... that's not a that's not an excuse though. Oh, I mean, no, always, no, I don't like, care. Come on, man, like um. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> You're still pissed about that. I'm still pissed about that. Yeah. Okay. My 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 other one would have been um Oscar. Oh, those, so you really hands, are Joey. But those hands are too big. <laughs> Yeah. Those hands Three are too waifus. Big. Yeah, Three well, waifus, I, man. Yeah, man. That's, that's a bit greedy. Yeah, yeah, I know, man. I could, I could go on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about yourself, Fergie? I think, I think that if you look at all the Tekken characters, but if we're just talking about Tekken Seven female characters <clears throat> right now, I'm talking about every Tekken, every Tekken character. Every well, even Tekken. then, you, the, you, you can even include fighting games. The the, uh, the other fighting games. Other fighting games. Pass now. Yeah. You can, okay. You can marry men. Well. I think. Come on, it's two thousand. It's two thousand seventeen. I'm not. I'm Squishy Blob is gonna kill you if it's like it's a, it's a, Oh yeah, you're just. Uh, no 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 no, no, no. <laughs> Okay, you guys, you just hear me out. Okay, every <laughs> single character, um, all the female characters particularly, are all caricatures, right? They're all just exaggerated. These people don't actually exist. Type characters, you know, like they're just. They still life. have a personality, though. Yeah, but that personality is exaggerated to the extreme. Yeah, yeah. The one character, the one female character, who I think is actually could be a real person is Leo, and I think Leo would be my wife for that reason because she Leo. Actually, she actually seems like, and I I would say that it's a she, but she actually seems like um a real person, and she seems cool, and she seems like really nice, and not like just big tits in your face. Or little school girl. I'm, or, I'm actually really you know, happy that they put a female why, why character. Why are you pointing at me saying little school girl? <laughs> why little you... school girl? <laughs> Just like I'm, you. I'm actually really happy that um, Tekken had the, I'm going to say balls, yeah. to put a female character in there without gigantic tits. Yeah, she's, an, she's androgynous, I'm really, I suppose. I'm is the really word, happy but, that... But she's, like, you know, she's, she's sexy. Like, she's I, sexy I, girl. I was watching um, Street Fighter V today, mm. and it's nothing but big tits. Yeah. And I, like... I it's d- embarrassing. Never, it's I'm embarrassing. Except for Karen. Karen has... It doesn't have big tits. Oh, really? Is she, wearing, is she so. wearing a thong or something? Uh, yeah. no, I don't think so. What? But no, no. But okay, so with Tekken there, you you do have like other girls. Like Xiaoyu doesn't. Doesn't uh, have big... Yeah, but no. she's a character too as well. She's she's like, you know, the sort of fetishy schoolgirl type character, right? And so is Asuka to a degree as well. Yeah. You yeah, know, they're all... Yeah, but yeah, but what, Asuka what has say? a massive bust though. That's true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. But what would you say Leo is? She isn't any of those things. Well, Lily doesn't exactly... She's kind of like a flat board. She's yeah, but like she's a, like... She's, she's like a delicate. Washboard. She's the delicate um, sort of... Uh, Ojo-sama, like a yeah, really... Yeah, aristocrat kind of yeah. blah, 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 you know? <laughs> she's over the top as well, but Leo's straight down the line. You know, you, you know what you're getting, and this is a real person that could actually exist. So that's why. What, like Ellen DeGeneres? Or Meg Ryan? Yeah. <laughs> Both people. <laughs> <laughs> Those are both definitely people. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No. Well, that's actually interesting, because, yeah. Um, I guess that you know you're sort of there, there's more people. There's there's actually like what three people that's been on the podcast so far that's chosen Nina. Yeah. 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 She's you know she's she annoys the, me. She she's mistaken though. Yeah. She is. Yeah, if if yeah. you actually think of a woman 
uh, in Tekken, it's Nina. It's always yeah. Nina Williams. Yeah. She's the yeah. face of Tekken. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally. It's weird yeah. how some of those characters have become the face. Like, I reckon that's why they put the beers back in, actually. Mm-hmm. Not because, because of legacy? Yeah, they're kind of like a... They're a character that you think of when you think of Tekken 3 is around that time. You know, like, it was just a big thing to have a beer in a fighting were they, game. Were they in Tekken 1? I think so. They... What Cooper was? was no, he, no, he wasn't. Wasn't he? So he looks the, really yeah, So the two. law, the law basically is is um, when Tekken One first came out, Kazuya was sort of the rebel or whatever, and um, you know he went up against Heihachi mm. um, just for the just just for hate really because he threw him off a cliff. Oh yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. So the shame is love. Though. It happens a lot. Yeah. 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 So um, basically, what happened is is that. Um, yeah, he took over um, the Mishima Zaibatsu, exactly, yeah. and he's been doing all this like testing on animals, and that's how you got all the kangaroos, the you know Alex. And, right. Yeah. yeah. It explains it all. Yeah. But yeah. I think the bears. I'm not too sure. I think so. You've got like Xiao Yu taking care of Panda, mm. and and then you've got you've got um, Kuma as Heiachi's pet. Yeah. Yeah. Which I was, was he like from... a butler or something? No, he's not a butler. He's just no, a, he's pet. a pet. I would have had him as a butler. Which, I would I would not mind like having Kuma as a pet. Too, that would be right? cool. That would be pretty cool. Huh? Having Kuma as a pet would be pretty awesome. It would. It would. Mm. It would. I'd rather have. Nah, I like Panda though. I do. Like Does Panda cool portray him though? She won't get a bloodlust. Hey? Yeah. Doesn't don't they portray each other? I think there's one storyline where like Kuma like tries to put Haihachi down a pet or something. Oh, those, you know you're taking little those are I, do, all, I do feel like I know what you're talking about. Are you, those are all fun things. Are you on. thinking about um? Where did you push the button? Okay, I thought you were thinking. Yeah, about yeah, yeah no, that's there. that's taking five, isn't it? I and you so. got Lee like sort of giving him the thumbs up every single time. Yeah, excellent. yeah, yeah. That's the one. Yeah, like excellent. That. <laughs> that's the reason I want to play Violet because I get to say excellent to people all the time. Oh yeah. Oh, he kind of reminds you of you. You know, the whole flamboyant really. What? Yeah. <laughs> you can be quite flamboyant. I can from be quite time. flamboyant, but I don't. I don't. You know, I've got to be. A... <laughs> <laughs> you just. Make you're it. just missing a fedora now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Makes up yeah, for yeah. it. I can do it. I can rock you, it. I you, think. you can. You can point your girlfriend at people and be like, "Look at me." Look at me. You prove a point here. Jeez. All right, man. So no, nah, we've actually covered most of these uh, Q's and A's and everything like that. Is there anything else that you'd like to add into this podcast or anything like that? I, I feel as though we've gone into a lot of weird stuff into our yeah, life on this one. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think I, I want to encourage a lot of the um, people that might be playing... Uh, going back to Tekken real quick. Um, people that are playing online that are thinking about making the transition. Barnaby and I have successfully transitioned and we couldn't be happier. And so I recommend <laughs> that all of you make the transition as well. No, like, we're uh, doing. As, as he... Um, what, what I would say is that... Like, we came out of the closet and we've been happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, what I found was, like, my first tournament was really fun. Yeah. But I got bodied like crazy. But don't let that get you down. Like, yeah. just, like, keep coming back. Because, like, the tournament nerves are horrible when you first experience yeah. them. But it gets better over it time. It gets better. It gets better. Yeah. Um... But also, also, I think that's part and of what this is the drivers. Like, you can't get that feeling of tournament nerves almost anywhere else. I reckon. Yeah, yeah. yeah Unless yeah. you're doing like public and speaking, you know, like it's something that really gets you and it really and, hits and, you hard. Yeah. When you first do it. yeah. But also, it's like, fun, it's like if more people go out and come out and like come to tournaments, it just grows our community, which yeah. makes us stronger. It, it, like, it's better. It, it's yeah. better. Like that's that's always that that's part of the reason why that there's this podcast here what it is is uh how i remembered it was back in tekken 5 there is actually um you know different groups in auckland Mm. that would actually be playing in different sort of environments and atmospheres and things like that and now because of the whole online thing that sort of brought everyone together yeah it's sort of made uh, everyone a lot closer like you know all the wellington boys your christchurch boys Mm. you got the hamilton boys and everything it just it just basically it just it it sort of tightens the gap yeah Mm. and i'm i'm hoping that later on obviously you know if i try to get someone like yiggs or or um jabu yeah you know or someone like that you know some of those guys um, you know, into the podcast. Obviously, I wouldn't be catering to you know. The, uh, most people wouldn't even know who the hell I am. Yeah. Like in Australia. Yeah. But obviously, um, 
I'm not going to, I don't really care if they, if they, you know, I just basically care that they know the whole Salt Shaker podcast thing. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So totally. if I interview them, obviously, you know, they wouldn't care about the host. They care about what Yiggs would have to say or yeah. what, you know, anyone in that community has to say. Yeah. And yeah. I sort of, you know, I'm just the interviewer. Yeah. That's yeah, all it is. Yeah. 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 Just and, yeah. Like, like, as you, that's, like one of the one of the biggest things for me for coming to tournaments is just hanging out with people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Great now, times. now you guys all know to throw a scrumpy bottle at him if you yeah, guys yeah, want to yeah, wrestle. Don't him. do that, or else I have to wrestle you. Get the scrumps going. Get the scrumps really going. Embarrassing. Yeah, it is. Make sure you really so to wrestle. So what happens? What happens if you're in a game, right, against me, and I'm losing, and then I throw a scrumpy bottle at you? Well, it becomes a real fight. <laughs> 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 Let's be clear. When we say wrestling, this isn't. This is like pathetic it's, rolling around on the floor. It's basically trying to pin someone to yeah, the ground. Yeah, it's not pretty. It's you know, not so pretty. Pretty. It's you're willing to commit. So it's actually just rolling on the ground. Yeah, it's well, very, it's very homosexual. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm so fun. you know if, if if Jamie's not listened to this tomorrow, I'm gonna be like, hey Jamie, Jamie, here's a scrumpy bottle. <laughs> Throw it at our crew's face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure he won't ask any questions as to why I should do this, but yeah. Well, like, why? Like, like if, <laughs> if he does that without knowing, he's got a surprise coming. <laughs> <for him>. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should throw it and then you should tell Barnaby that it was Jamie that did it. Yes! And then just have Barnaby <laughs> no, 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 no. Say that it's like severe or PG <laughs> or something. Yeah. It's, okay. it's like putting a head I, on them, you know? I feel so you're already planning revenges yeah. on other people for me to like, <laughs> embarrass myself with. The thing is, it only works with Barnaby as well, not with me. So. No, 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 it works with nah, me. Nah, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. No, but I, wait, which one of you are, is Barnaby? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for those that uh, that that's tuned in to to this podcast. There, it was very very cool to have these two on. I mean, mm-hmm. just to talk about you know um, their experience of Tekken, um, how they transition f- from online to offline, going to all these tournaments, and just talking about the general relationship between these two, the awesome friendship, the Joey and Chandler, oh. you know, just <laughs> everything. <laughs> The, the Howard Wallowitz and, you know, and, uh, <laughs> and the other one. And the yeah, other one. What's his name again? Uh, uh, Raj. Raj, Raj yeah, yeah. Kutha Polly. Yeah, That's yeah, the yeah. one. Yeah, so just that kind of relationship is really, right. really cool. We're not the only, like, Tekken couple, though, are we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna get, you're going to get some more couples on, right? Oh, That's yeah, we'll way. be getting more couples. Yeah, cool. for sure, okay. for sure. Cool, cool. We'll, be ha- we'll try to get that power couple in as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's great. We're the hot couple, though. So. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, of That's course. That. Yeah. yeah. Very well, handsome. Uh, thanks so, so much for having us on. Yeah, no, definitely. It, it was a, it was, a, it was my pleasure of uh, you know of hosting you guys. Um, but yeah, uh, for those that don't know, we're basically everyone's here for Southern Cross up. Hit us up. Come around tomorrow. Yeah, come around tomorrow. Hit me up uh, for a sticker mm-hmm. and everything. Oh, I got uh, a sticker on my stick now. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, representing. Yeah. That is cool. Representing. Yeah, so, um, yeah, thank you very much for listening, guys. Um, yeah, be sure to tune in on the next one, and I'll see you guys next time. Yep. Yep.